Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to another fun and exciting edition right here on This Week in Toy Culture. My name is Aras Yandia. With me always is my tag team partner, Mr. Michael Burgi. No whoops, wrong way. Ah, there we go. Yeah, somewhat close. We're not even close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just as long as they don't touch, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> just the tips. Uh, <laughs> what up, sir? How you doing? How are you? How do you feel about a non a, how do you how do you feel about a non patriot team this year how do you feel about the buccaneers game on going to be I, happening I, so, so to all the football teams that don't make the playoffs like the cincinnati bengals the new york jets i mean i would even say the cleveland browns but they made it i'm not used to this as a patriots fan i've been in the playoffs for 20 years what do i do do i watch the games on the weekend who do i root for do i i don't know what do I do, people? What do I do? Someone do you, help me out. There's no giant. You can't. You can't even root for the Giants because sometimes I hear Patriots fans will root for the Giants. Forget. Uh, Let's talk about the Eagles for a quick second because ESPN won't uh, show about uh, Eagles. And if I was a football team, if if this happened, okay. Let's just be honest, right? Let's just be completely honest. If Tom Brady, being his third or whatever year it is. And the third string quarterback comes in to say it's a sort of, and you got, you got three minutes. I mean, and you're down by three with plenty of time left in the game. What do you do? If you're playing to win the game, as Herm Edwards always says, you play to win the game. They right. weren't playing to win the game. They were playing for uh, draft pick, you know, uh, selection seating. That's what they were going for. They didn't give a crud about their opponent, you know, the 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 Giants. They could care less to help them out to get, you know, in. And I mean, Phil, uh, I mean, Washington is a good defense. I actually think they'll do okay. Buccaneers will still blow them out by like two touchdowns easily, but I think the Washington, you know, football team will give them a better run than the Giants would all day. Do you so. still call? Are you like me? You still like calling Washington their previous name? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry. When the, like, all right. So the Cleveland Indians, right? Like when they've actually spoken to the people that are Indians that live in Cleveland, they're not offended by the ta- the term. So if they're not offended, the Atlanta Braves aren't offended. Why did the Redskins like get offended? No one was offended. Like none of the people that were actually of Indian nature or culture or heritage were actually offended. It was because their owner is a dirt bag. And the man can't keep it in his pants, and he's done some stuff the wrong way, and yeah, he got in trouble for it, and that was the way they basically spited the man. That's right. still a what a, the third best franchise, I guess, in football for like money wise. It's mm-hmm. Cowboys, I think, first, uh, which we always know it's America's team. Patriots are up there, I think, for one of them. Redskins are up there. New Red- Orleans is up there, there for it. Um, you know. We are going to talk a little sports culture there. We're going to give you some culture. Uh, today, we're going to give you a little bit of news because a lot of people who are here always talk about sports. A lot of people are sports fans. Us in particular are sports fans. And guess what? If you love the McFarlane line, that's the toy. That's the toy line. They started doing. They started. They started with hockey. They yeah. started. And I, and I know you're a sports fan, Jay. But I've seen you at a Red Sox game. Quiet. Yeah. Nerds don't know sports. Oh, Fusco. Those are fighting words there. Those are fighting words there, Fusco. That's that's because Fusco's really an Eagles fan. <laughs> He's not yeah. a Patriots fan. He's an Eagles fan. Oh, no. His, his wife is a, an Eagles fan, big time. He's a 49ers Ooh. fan. Ooh. Fusco and 49ers fan. All right. So, so, real quick, since we got a few of you guys here for the show anyway. Yeah, big sports fans. So I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to the Saturday game, which is Colts versus Bills. Yes, I do have some of the score schedules right here. Uh, the Rams versus Seahawks. Good luck. Um, actually, good luck. I don't know. Good luck, Seahawks? Who you pick? Actually, let, let's go to the first one. Colts and Bills. Who you who you rooting for? Colts or Bills? Uh, Bills are taking that game. Two touchdowns. Bills are taking that game. Uh, the following game for that, we got Rams versus Seahawks. Seahawks. Who are you picking? Seahawks by a touchdown, I believe. I really do. I think that's a good Hawks game. By a close game. Win it. Yep. All right. Then uh, last game for Saturday, we got the Buccaneers versus the uh, Washington football team. 
Well, as uh, I know, Josh here hurt his ankle when he jumped on that bandwagon for uh, the Buccaneers. Just kidding, Josh. I know you're a huge Buccaneers fan. Uh, they are going to win. The Buccaneers will win uh, two touchdowns. Really do believe two touchdowns. Uh, but Washington's going to give them a run. Wait, I think it comes out of the fourth quarter. Ooh. I think it comes out uh, of the fourth quarter. I like it. You know, some of you guys are picking the Rams, uh, Bills, and everything. I frankly do see the Buccaneers. Then Sunday becomes the fun game. We got Ravens versus the Titans. Titans, I think, win it, and it's a field goal. I think at the field goal at time expires. I really do believe that. All right. How about this one? <laughs> Bears versus Saints. If the Saints don't blow them out by three touchdowns, it's it's fixed. It's and the Saints fixed. better win because they've lost the last three seasons. Final play of right. the game. Last three postseasons, they need to go. And uh, last but not least, the Browns versus the Steelers. As much as I want to see Baker Mayfield up and uh, Roethlisberger, it's not going to happen. Steelers, I say by touchdown and field goal, 10 points. I, I really do think that. But it's going to oh. be a close game. I think it's going to be a lot closer than everyone is expecting. Right. So it'll be it'll be an interesting matchup come you know, this Saturday and Sunday. And of course, we'll be on during <laughs> the last game. So I think you and I are going to be the only one with a TV screen going like this every my time we're not on camera. My TV will be on in the background. If you see me go, yes! you know, I'm a little rooting for somebody there. Right. Um, actually, while we're on subjects of like, you know, how about comebacks and everything? What about this um, Hasbro today brought back for the fourth time? Well, I guess the first time this year, three times early in the year, the Transformers DeLorean action figure, which was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive the following year, it is now back for a fourth time. I think that I think they're trying to go for the T. Five time. Five time. Five time, five time champion. The, <laughs> the five time action figure release of the year. I mean, they're going for four. Maybe this time they'll, they'll, they'll paint a, uh, a firebird on his uh, front end or something on his hood. <laughs> I could see I could see someone just really just taking a firebird, just doing that. Just wasn't there a firebird release, or wasn't there a wasn't there a transformer called Firebird based on the Trans Am? Uh, the closest thing right. I would want to say would probably be the Trans Am would be uh, Hot Rod. He's probably right. thing really. Yeah, uh, but nothing as bad as the last not last movie last night. La right, last night's hot rod. We don't, we don't want to. We don't want to talk almost, about that I hot almost, rod. I almost forgot about that hot mess. I like. I like someone saying they they win by a home. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a kid, uh, Nick Northcutt. He's my old assistant manager. I love the kid to death. He's such a good friend. He literally does not know sports. So whenever we talked about sports in at, at GameStop, he would sit there go, "Sports ball." I hope Michael Phelps runs in a field goal, and I'm like. What is wrong with you? He's like, I, I don't follow sports, man. Is he a hockey player? I'm like, he's on the Olympic gold team. He's like, you know, a swimmer. He goes, I have no idea. Love as, the kid as, as much as I want to argue with Eric and Mia, in the movie, they did rename him to Trax, and that wasn't until later. But in the movie, he was called Hot Rod. Mm -hmm. So please go and rewatch the movie. On the credits, it was named Trax, but in the movie, he's called Hot Rod. Yeah, and he was uh, what was it, the Italian like Ferrari or something like that, uh, whatever it was. It was that's oh not my God. hot rod. No, it's not my not hot me. rod. That's not my. <laughs> so much more exciting. <laughs> J Ball, yeah. I love you to death, bro. I love you to death. We could talk about we could talk about sports all day. I mean, look, I got wrestling in the background, impacts in the house, uh, Carlito Cool. If you're in the New York, Long Island area, we do see a lot of people from. The Massachusetts, New England area that make their way to Long Island for an autograph signing. So uh, Hastel Toys will be having an autograph signing on Sunday. I'll be there for a few short hours. Sunday, sorry, Saturday. Oh, uh, I'll be there for Sunday. Huh? Be for Sunday. No, if I be there Sunday, I'm like I come, I come right out. Last time, yeah. last time the autograph signing on Sunday, and we did it live at his toy show because, you know. I'd have to leave like immediately, but you know, yeah. everyone likes to go get food, talk smack and everything. Careful. Merge his nicknames. Oh, hot rod. I, I hate you. Fuse. Go. <laughs> well, real quick. Uh, what's, with, what's with the nickname? Hot rod. No, it's not hot rod. He's just busting beans there. That's all that is. 
It says Fuse still right. being Fuse still. All right, let's get to the current toys. Some of these toys have been released. Some of them are discontinued, but not really because guess what? If you really need help trying to find and pay retail for some of your action figures, just let us know. We'll point you in the right direction. Um, Hasbro has put some of these toys up, and they are uh, unreleased, but it doesn't mean GameStop, Entertainment Earth, Walmart, who also released... um, who also released uh, the link for the Transformers uh, Gigawatt action figure. Uh, they are also around as well, too. So happy hunting for all of you action figure hunters. Let's start with the first one, because why? If you didn't pick this up by Christmas, I don't know what to tell you anymore, because this is something really, really cool and cute, and I should have picked this up. I don't know why I just went to this screen. Did we lose you? There we go. Yes how long we've done two weeks of not doing this show <laughs> but uh we have here the hasbro star wars the child hideaway hideaway hover prom oh i so hate and you go. i so hate you going with the whole <laughs> mr hot rod no no the one right above that one it's it's actual pookie. yeah my nickname is pookie yep very good funny. to know Anyway, yeah. let's continue on. So That's if you haven't picked, well. <laughs> so if you haven't picked, and, and if you're a fan of, I, I, I guess if, if you're a fan of the child, and you haven't picked this up, and especially with something that has the carriage in it, because remember, we're not going to see this anymore. The this little thing is going to be gone. Grogu is walking. Look at his little face. He is absolutely. Out thinking adorable right there like legit adorable how do you not jump on this uh this was released two weeks prior to christmas it is still available and we probably know walmart and target will be carrying this as well too gamestop i think has this available for you guys for your epic joy and he just comes out of a ball i'm just gonna stop with the baby noise this eventually <laughs> I mean, I said this the other day with you when you showed this to me. It reminds me of a popple. Yes. Now, for the youngins that are watching our show, the popples were adorable little, like, weird furball animals. I actually have one of the uh, popples pops up there. Um, and basically what it is, they turns into a giant ball, and you unfold it, and it's like a stuffed animal. So right. this is like the newest version of a popple, which is awesome. Except he's not as cuddly as furry as a teddy bear. He is a Grogu. Ah, uh, he's he's definitely adorable. This this is a this will be a must have for a lot of. And I see this as actually a lot of uh like Just young girls there. and women will love this one. They're gonna go crazy for this. We're doing great, Dennis. How are you? Much love, Dennis. How are you doing, buddy? Yes, they are. They remind me. Uh, yes, they are like a popple. If you're especially a. They came out what ninety two, ninety three. Oh, the popples, I think, were earlier than that, right? Popples were in the eighties to uh, uh, late eighties to early nineties. I want to say from eighty seven to ninety three, somewhere in that range. Oh, well, if you watch Wonder Woman, I guess they missed that bandwagon of having popples because if they happened in eighty six, there should have been Cabbage Patch Kids dolls and popples in front of every single KB Toys okay. store at at a mall near you. So. How many people went to him and be like, I want a Cabbage Patch doll for my kid? You know, that was the witch they should have made. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Because that's actually true. Yes, yeah, right? we're still on the bandwagon of Wonder Woman being as the missed, uh, the missed audience. The missed. I don't, how do you explain it? The missed. The missed pop culture the, it was supposed to be. The missed hit that they thought it was going to be, and it definitely missed the mark big time for that movie. Um, but hey, I mean, I digress. We're talking toys, <laughs> pop cultures, and Sundays. Tune in. Right. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much done with the Grogu and everything. It's still cute. It's still available on Hasbro's website. If you're not a big fan of Hasbro's website, Target and Walmart will be having them, and I believe GameStop has it available on their site. If not that, you can always go to Entertainment Earth and be on the countdown, because every single time they go down to the last action figure, it literally jumps up by a dollar or two mm -hmm. until they get to their last action figure. Very interesting. Always be the first, never be the last. Never pay outrageous prices. 
Because why? If you're paying average prices for the newest toys, especially with the re-release of the Transformer Gigawatt action figure, can't tell you anything else, guys. Right. Anyway, uh, jump to some Power Rangers. These were, these were just released on Hasbro's website, also available on GameStop's website. Uh, this is the Blue Ranger from Dino Thunder. Uh, I believe he was or wasn't. Uh, no, he he's been a guest a few times on some of the East Coast shows. I don't know if he's been a guest on some of the West Coast shows. I I have had dinner with him, so nice guy. <laughs> it was at lunch. It was lunch. Has he been at one of the Rhode no. Island shows? No. no okay. I was like, I don't like, I don't remember this guy. There was a miscommunication. You were supposed to have. Uh, JDF and the rest of the cast members for this show. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I believe two of them flaked out because you still had JDF there. <laughs> so, <laughs> Dino Thunder, pretty cool. Has cool accessories. He's got the shield. He's got the gun. Um, really cool tier collection. And don't forget, if you are a big Power Ranger fan, currently the Power Rangers are doing the comic book uh, tour. I don't know if Kevin, who played the Blue Ranger for this, is doing the Canadian, um, is doing the Canadian comic book stores. Hopefully, he is. He's not missing on those opportunities. And um, yeah, hopefully, uh, pretty cool. I mean, I've I'm never been much of a Power Ranger fan, which is you know, well documented. Um, but this actually is a really cool figure. I like it, and they've actually improved on a lot of figures with uh, the articulation of a lot of the characters now. I think overall, action figures now, I'm so glad we are living in the age we are with right. these items because the articulation on them has gotten way better. The nice thing about this is it is a regular plain design, like the Blue Power Ranger. But if you wanted to, you could even turn this into other items because this is an easy paint job for customization, which makes it really nice. And the, in the amount of uh, articulation on it is definitely a nice piece. And especially if you if you want to do battle damage on them, yeah. mm -hmm. they're just. Do I have a few out? Oh no, they're in the drawer. I I put the rest of them away. Um, there's the box art. Go grab one or two or twelve or four or five <laughs> because you're a big Power Ranger fan. Some of you aren't. Some of you are. There's and the these back. Are nice get, these are nice to get autographed too. When you do visit a local convention or a, a toy signing, and these guys happen to be at it, bring these items, guys. They love seeing this to get uh you know signed. They absolutely do enjoy this. Either, as much as I, I am a big fan of the original Power Rangers, there is two, in my opinion, that are huge divas, and the other cast members are much better to hang out with, to get autographs, and they talk to you more because sometimes they can tell that you're not a super fan. You just want to be there because you're a fan of the show, and you want to say thank you to them. You know? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Power Rangers and the Power Rangers and Space Crew is... is 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 actually one of my favorites to hang out with we'll say so the og cast yeah bring back trini somehow please i'll make that wish that oh, my one wish is to bring back trini <laughs> um we also have the second release uh of the lost galaxy red ranger uh he was originally released as a two-pack i forgot with um with one of the other Rangers. So this is the second time he's getting released. The first time was a two pack. This is the first time he's by himself. Pretty cool. See, my only thing here is, and I really like, I'm, I, I want to do this. I want to paint him yellow and just call him Charlie Brown. Cause what? On. Look at they this. Do have look a at the shirt. He's got the shirt going. It's Charlie Brown. I'm telling you, paint him yellow, do. keep the regular head. And then you got Charlie Brown as an adult. He became a power ranger. I'm just saying. They do have they do have a yellow ranger, yes. Um, I'm waiting for them to release. Uh, I forgot which cast it is, but the pink ranger for one of the Power Ranger series is in the boys. So uh, that's an action figure. If you are going to collect for Power Rangers and want to get it signed, mm -hmm. when they release that, not her, uh, a different pink ranger. Well, this is a pink ranger from um, uh, SPD. Their this police version. Uh, this is like their space police kind of thing. This okay. is like their Power Rangers police force. Yes. Originally, if you got the Red Ranger, he was a dog type character. This is when they started adding more science fiction to it. Okay. I mean, if you're not a space, I mean, not everyone can be human that can be there. You know, I'm just saying. They did add more elements to some of the other shows. 
Um, I stopped after Paranormal in Space, so seeing some of these toys, I can't really go talk to some of them. Be like, do you remember this episode? Do you remember this episode? Do you remember this episode? And I'm like, no, really, stop watching after <laughs> Paranormal in Space. And uh, if you are a child of the '80s, you watched movies. Remember, you watch movies die die in space. So yeah. in retrospect, when they did Power Rangers in space, and the whole idea of Zordon spread. Getting having his essence spread around the universe, I thought that was the end of the Power Ranger series. And then when they brought in, actually, uh, when they brought in the Red Ranger, which is from Lost Galaxy, it didn't make sense to me anymore. And Power Rangers to me never made sense. So uh, to answer Heather's uh, thing, I think there's been close to now 15 different versions of Power Rangers. The original ones were the ones that we grew up on, which was, you know, Steve Cardenas, David Yost, uh, Austin St. John, uh, oh, Jason David Frank, the Trini, I can't remember her name. But that one, they did that show for like a good seven to almost ten years, I think. No, they the, were first, on that. the first cast was around for five years. Was it five? I thought it was longer than that. Well, they've done movies, too. That right. Went they've done. Like, maybe that's why. Yeah, you know? they've, they've done the movie. Um, and after that, I don't know exactly, but I think it's more than 15. I think we're on season 17. Uh, remember we're, we're not getting the full adaptation from Japan and Japan has over 20 to almost 30 because some of them don't translate well to the, to the U S market. Um, especially I think with one, the power ranger season where there's two teams and there's over 30 Rangers. I don't see at the time Bandai was not going to spend all that money to have over 30 cast members. And the closest they got to it was having 12 Power Rangers or 13 Power Rangers at one point. I think it was during Dino, Dino Thunder, Dino Charge series. They like movies for it too, like the red, the red movie or something like that. And I think they've done two different movies based on all the different colored uh, Power Rangers, right? They've, hun they've done the specials. They've Yo, done the specials. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So they've done Forever Red, which brought back almost every single Red Ranger, uh, which kind of upset a lot of people because there was a transfer of power with the original Red Ranger to the second Red Ranger. And to have Austin St. John come back to a lot of people didn't make sense. We'll go. We could go through that all day long. I'm not a theorist. I don't really. Doesn't really matter. Speaking of a mm -hmm. one of the original Power Rangers, uh, uh, what is it? Johnny. Johnny Young God. Bosch, right? Thank you, Johnny Bosch. Thank yeah. you. Uh, if you remember, he was part of the transfer of power episode, which he goes from, uh, which they transfer him, and he becomes the new Black Ranger. He had a good, he had a good three, he had a good three season or three Power Ranger one, being a Black Ranger and two Green Rangers. Mm -hmm. We've had uh, him at, uh, we've had him at Rhode Island, and I think we've had him at Colorado. I believe we've had yeah. him at. He's a nice guy. Very nice guy. Uh, I bashed him one night, and then we became good friends <laughs> after one <laughs> night. Sometimes that happens, man, you know? I liked his music. I prefer him bring his band and everything, so I thought like a lot of places would bring his band. His band was good, but then, yet again, um, this is a really cool set to have because this is... This is the second team. This is the Power Ranger Zio. Uh, this is the Power Ranger Zio action figure. And if you have a hard time getting his anime action figures, which are hard, the next best thing is to pick up the Red Ranger and uh, the Black Ranger. And finally, they're releasing one with his face for the second time. Uh, and that is him as the Green Zio Ranger. Uh, we're starting to see those lately. Was the Zio second set after the original Power, or is it second set? Second set. Okay. No, sorry, Zio. Oh my god, am I getting it confused? No, this is yeah, this is the Zio. Yeah, these are the Zio Rangers. They, they these were after Mighty Morphin. Okay. These were after Mighty Morphin. This is where, as we said, Jason David Frank goes from the Red Ranger to the Blue Ranger. Uh, the what is it? Uh, the Blue Ranger becomes sort of the Black Ranger, but he's more behind the scenes with Alpha. Then he gets pushed away. Then Jason. Then Austin St. John comes in to be the Gold Ranger, or in the Japanese version, the King Ranger, or King Ranger. It's just weird to me to see a Green Ranger for anybody other than Jason David Frank. <laughs> That's it. Don't forget, if you read the comic books, at one point in the comic book series, all uh, four of the original Power Rangers 
are wearing green costumes because the only stone that's around that isn't part of the morphing grid was the green ranger uh was the green ranger so the yellow ranger and the other rangers are pretty much all become green rangers so pretty cool interesting if you remember uh turbo were the second uh set of rangers i think turbo is after zeo so um when they did the la- when they did the movies when it comes to the movies it's power rangers the movie then comes um turbo a power ranger movie and turbo a power ranger movie if you watched it some of them uh the red ranger and the pink ranger morph into the zeo costumes which is the one you see right here. Just imagine the Red Ranger version and the Pink Ranger version. So just to answer that, um, not really a second set, but as far as movies are concerned, that will be the second movie in the Power Rangers little saga. Still not bad, though. If you are a Power Ranger fan, hopefully, uh, hopefully, you know, these conventions will start having more and more celebrities, and hopefully they have more Power Rangers. Because why? If if you're someone like Heather who loves Power Rangers, you just want to see more Power Rangers at the shows. So now into more of the show. Just give me a thumbs up, Bergie. <laughs> All right. Uh, now into more fun stuff. More of the store. More of the toys that you guys really like to purchase and want to buy. And that is the Star Wars Black Series figures. Uh, this is from the archives section, which is pretty much the black card. This is like the cardboard backing. So there's still a six inches. I don't understand why they keep switching back and forth between cardboard backing and a full box. Yeah, I know. That's yeah, why. I know. It's kind of like going to vintage. So this is like going through like their black vintage collection. Well, you think about it now, they're redoing basically their entire black series, you know, action figures and redoing them with new box art, new cover art, everything. So it's it's a money ploy. You know, Disney didn't get a lot of it, you know, back then. So now they're trying to capitalize on it now because they right. now own all of it. Real quick, I'm going to answer Heather. Heather, there is a website online or two of them that talk about the actual Power Ranger timeline that talks about the U.S. version and the Japanese version. So they do talk about the timelines and they talk about how certain episodes mix in with previous episodes or talk about previous episodes. And I think with the current Dino uh, dino episodes that are happening right now, if I'm not mistaken, they bring back Austin St. John because it is a dino event. Mm-hmm. I wish they brought back other characters, but they're not going to. I mean, it'd be pretty cool if uh, uh, Walter Jones was the Black Ranger one more time. <laughs> right. Uh, yes, this is uh, the Death Trooper uh, released by Hasbro. Still available. If you're If you're not, you know, good luck finding it. The, the only thing that kills me with this is he's all black and he's got a green gun. <laughs> Almost reminds me of the army men. You remember the green army men? They just had the yeah. generic. Yep. They had the generic poses. This is just, just like, a, you know, <laughs> the green army. I, to be honest, I love playing the video game because if, if, if you didn't do a good job in the game or if you perished in the game, you melted. Yes. So true. And which was great because it had a very, um, it, it actually had a, uh, what the heck is it? Well, it was based off Toy Story. So the fact that they had death in a Toy Story video game was kind of cool. Uh, yes, cool. another. <laughs> With the little uh, magnifying glass. <laughs> there it is, the Death Trooper. Get the cardboard backing, you know. See, I it's... like I like the look of the figure. I just hate the cardboard backing. They have this. I think this is. I mean, unless you can put this in a box somehow and store it where it does not get damaged, this is going to decrease in value because it's going to get dinged and damaged a lot. But it's still a nice card. I do like it because of the 50 Lucasfilm. Um, right. I, they did a fantastic job with it. I know. I was, I was going to pull out the Anakin Skywalker because I do have the Anakin with the same cardboard backing similar to this one. Maybe I'll pull it out just a second. But more on the Black Series, Black Back Cards... We have the Imperial um, hover tank uh, driver. Also, one of these guys kicked Baby <laughs> in, in while in the, while in the back. I don't know if it was this guy because this is the hover tank driver. That was a different one. Does it but, matter? 
No. I do like this one, though. I like the design and the style of it. Like, I just I like the fact, You know what it is? I always like the fact that they actually, like, have pants that are just creased. <laughs> you know? Kind of, yep. Right. They look like... If, if you're going to cosplay, you know for a fact these are... Um, you, you can wear, uh, like, sweatpants. Yep. Just find a pair of brown sweatpants. Yep, cargo pants, cargo, uh, you know, pants uh, that you see a lot of people wear. Right, because you don't have to wear just khakis. Nope. Or, you know, he wore his brown pants because he came into <laughs> a fight. Yes, a little Deadpool reference there. Uh, there's the Imperial hover uh, hover tank driver. Happy hunting if you are looking for those generic um, stormtroopers or if you're just collecting because you need, remember... Especially with these ones, you definitely like four to five into a set because your your character never just fought one villain. He fought many. I know, <laughs> he fought I mean, many. There's a, lot, there's a lot of people that are going to try to redo like action scenes and stuff like that. And you're going to want multiple pieces to do that. So mm -hmm. you definitely want it. But I agree with uh, Jabo where he said it's the Scarif Trooper from Rogue One. It definitely reminded me of the Scarif Trooper from Rogue One. From I when feel they like were this on one did day. anyway. The short trooper. This one a is now the short. Did. Right. I feel like they just gave them extra names because they just didn't know what to call them. But have you noticed something? I think I might have talked to you about this uh, a couple weeks ago. We were talking a lot of these figures too for the stormtroopers. Now the way they look at them, do they not remind you of samurais with the way they, they are? are is the way the armor sits on them the way it looks like it's got the the legs on the top part of their hips area and stuff like that they right. definitely look like a samurai style minus the actual swords so now that's a cool anakin right before he went psycho and uh you know murdered younglings uh pretty much i love the fact that it gave you a year of getting released in 2014 which i don't remember this being released in 2014 <laughs> Maybe it's a remake of it? No, but here's the interesting part. They actually didn't put the year on the bottom. So meaning oh. that they probably put it in the back so that people know that this is released, was released in 2014. But it actually, this figure wasn't released actually in 2014. This was released in 2017 because I remember purchasing it in 2017 from Hasbro's website. Yeah. So that's been cool. And then I just brought up Moth just because that was when we went toy hunting just not too long ago. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Cusco. If you found Mark Gideon. Right. What's up? What's Thank up, you Mike? all for joining us today on this lovely Tuesday evening. If you're not watching Impact Wrestling, you're watching us and thank you. As we all know. Kevin, yes, I do mean the shinobis, the way the, the armor is and stuff like that. Yes, you are right. Yes, post child for an in <laughs> for in school version in school. <laughs> yes. Uh. It'll be interesting to see it, how that timeline is going to work once they start doing the Skywalker um, storyline, if they do it. Right. Who who does does Grogu meet a demise? Does Grogu survive? Because it wouldn't make sense for the seven for seven for episodes seven, eight, and nine. But it could. I mean, um, uh, go on our Instagram uh, on Evil Comics Inc., which will probably be linked to the Facebook page. Um, there is a timeline. There is a new Star Wars timeline yes. with the new stuff coming out. They are supposed to be before or after a certain series because a lot of times, and I'll continue with Heather because she brought up the Power Rangers timelines and stuff. What is the order and what is not the order? There is a new timeline for Star Wars. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they're going to completely stick to it, but it seems pretty legit to where everyone needs to be on certain storylines and how they're all supposed to fit in. I'm a little, it's a little weird because the video, the latest video game is not part of their story timeline. So I found that a little odd. Mm. Yeah. Dark, dark Anakin called pre Vader. <laughs> like pu pu pubescent Vader, pu pubescent emo teen anger Vader. I don't know. Yes, ends up training uh, with the Wookiees on your home planet. <laughs> All right, there's your Shore Hunter. And uh, we also got some more stuff as well, too. Uh, some of everyone's favorite, because why? One of these, this has Mando's weapons, so you have to get your 
your Tuscan Raider as well, too. Because if you remember the latest one of the episodes with Boba Fett and the Mandalorian, was he having his hand? A Tuscan Raider weapon. Oh, and he messed, messed up some troopers, man. Woo. So here's the kicker. If you want to redo your Mandalorian and he does not get released with the Tuscan Raider weapon, guess what? Yeah. You need him. Yeah, you're you're buying this just to steal the weapon. <laughs> Or just wait a year or two to like some third party company starts making extra weapons. Yep. I do like the Tuscan Raider. And I've actually, I like the way that they've actually improved on these overall from when we first saw them, where it was just like, oh my God, this is a Tuscan Raider. To now the detail that they've put into them and a little bit more of the lore. And the Mandalorian did do that, which was nice. They added to their, their legend per se. You know, so they're yeah. not just these weird sand people that just scream and go, Rawr! and they hold a gun above their head and go running around the desert. Um, yes. So I'm actually, I do like that. I do dig that they've done that. Now, for everyone, on, on Haswell's website, this toy is sold out. It is sold out. But there are three websites that don't have this particular item sold out. And that is the new Boba Fett paint job helmet. <laughs> so if you need an update to your Mandalorian costume, if you need a new update for your Boba Fett helmet, or you just need to have a Boba Fett, uh, a bubble fat helmet with the black series box. This one's for you. Why? Why are you making the face for? I, I, I look. I, I just find it funny that he went and repainted his thing while Grogu was being kidnapped. He's like, you know what? Now nah, I got to polish off the armor. Hey, anybody got some spray paint, some Krylon? I need to repaint this. I know the kid's kidnapped, but I got to repaint my armor. Like, come on. All right. I want to know where when he went to Benjamin Moore to get this paint. <laughs> so <I'm laughs> That's all it. I want to know. How in the next episode <laughs> he automatically has the paint to repaint it exactly, sort of exactly, except with like little marks here and there. But it looked, it looked way too well. It did, it did have a matte finish. It wasn't yep. semi gloss, yep. so we know he didn't use the right paint. Yep. It's like, it's like uh, what <laughs> it, uh, what's his face, uh, to uh, Tony Stark in the Avengers movie, the first one, when he was being thrown at. He's like, "Well, it's not done, sir. Well, don't spend time on the paint job. Let's get it going." That's what right. he did here, you know. He had to just paint quickly. it, just just paint it like golden red here and there, and call it a day. Think hot rod. Speaking speaking of hot rod, he, he buffed Think out hot the rod. armor, he buffed out the chest plate. You know, he's like, look, got to make the dad bod look good. <laughs> speaking of which, we still have that anyway for you guys, which is what tag? Yeah, dad, <laughs> dad bod, dad boba. bod boba. Yes, dad bod boba. So. <laughs> Happy little helmet. Oh my god, Heather, you're killing me. <laughs> We're gonna paint so we still have the dad bod boba <laughs> hashtag for you guys. Bob Ross over here painting his helmet. No, because he because see if Bob Ross was available, he'd he'd draw a mountain because why he's got the green. So what is Boba <laughs> he, he needs a happy little mountain? Probably any Bob Ross never did animals, so someone always drew in those animals later. But he needs a happy little background, some white, some snowflakes here and there. <laughs> So something you want to see someone doing a, a, a badass helmet, check out Ray Ramos. Uh, if you get a chance to check out Ray Ramos, he is doing his own Mandalore uh, armor, his headset. Oh, dude, it is damn. Yes. Incredible. So, con so continue with dad by Boba. We're going to go into a figure that was quickly released, sold out, but still available at select stores. And that is the Bo-Katan action figure. Um, just like how we said before, a lot of the toys are being held back hard. And they released this right after the season was over. Meaning that they held this like gold. Mm -hmm. They held on to this for dear life before they can release it to you guys. Uh, no, because he's too green. Because why he's got to build mountains or happy trees with like some white onto it. Remember, he's got a green background. Think about how... Think Bob Ross. He's got a green background. What else would he draw on the helmet? Yeah. You know? I I do like this figure, and this looks like Katie Sackhoff. Oh, my God. Spot on, man. They got the the imaging done correct. This it, this looks like it jumped off the TV screen from Clone Wars and the Rebel series. Um, spot on. Perfect. Did you see Katie's Instagram post with her father? Yes. Yep. I, I thought that was really big. She got a chance to take her dad to the set of Star Wars, and her father grew up teaching her about sci-fi and everything like that. Was like, that's incredible. I wish I could have done something like that. 
but you know star wars if you need extras we'll be there you know yeah, extras yeah. if we have to die in an episode we'll take it because why we can we, we can we can milk it at these we can milk it at these shows <laughs> <laughs> you know there you go uh bo katan is out so uh, there, if, if you can't find them at certain stores, there are also other toy stores that have them at regular retail. You don't have to worry about the third party. You don't have to worry about eBay pricing because eBay has this now listed as $55, which is completely insane because this is just the first run. While mm -hmm. GameStop still has it as their $25.99. And I think someone showed up not too long ago saying that GameStop raised the price on this action figure to $28.99. Uh, while other locations have this available at close to $23 to $25. So please be smart when it comes to getting your toys. I know she's probably a must in your collection, but, you know, like, don't, think don't about... Go those, don't go to some of those third-party guys. You're going to waste too much money on some of this stuff. Go check out, like, your local GameStop, your local uh, comic book stores, your local comic book shops. Check them out. They... We'll probably have a better deal than you'll get on some of these third-party dealers. Yeah, I, I shared a website with Michael not too long ago about certain stores that are outside of the New England area, and they were doing free shipping on orders of $100. So you can be safe and purchase them at retail. And these guys were charging generic retail, which yeah. I was happy with. And I ordered a Bo-Katan. Granted, I had to wait afterwards. She was sold out. I'm going to get my Bo-Katan. She'll be yeah. late, but guess what? I'm going to get her at retail, Still and I'm happy get with it. the choice. Still going to get it. Going to get it. Get it, I get, it get, love, get it. I love the side art. Like, that to me is incredible. Yes. And also, since a lot of you guys are very, very trigger happy about this one, which you probably are going to have in your collection, and that is the Dark Saber. My favorite. I call it the Black Saber. But anyway, does it matter? No, it's a saber. It's awesome. It's a it's, laser. <laughs> it's it's a laser sword that actually has a blade to it. Yeah, that, this is absolutely incredible, and I do like that the the story that this is has and the storyline. If anybody's watched the Mandalore, uh, the Mandalorian, the last episode, uh, wow, <laughs> this history is incredible. This is nuts, and I love this thing. I can't wait how they get into. I can't wait to how they're gonna get past it from uh, rebels into more of this. Mm -hmm. And if you've seen the timeline, which I will post tonight or tomorrow, Star Wars's new timeline, this kind of sits into episodes four, five, and six. I mean, uh, yeah, four, five, and six. So. Do we see this later down the line? We'll never. We'll we'll know. We'll know eventually. We'll know. I would. I hope that if they decide to do something, I would love to see the first Mandalorian, you know, Jedi, because mm -hmm. that's what this is for the saber. This would be it's a cheese slicer. <laughs> it slices. It dices. <laughs> right, it's yes. like a Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Leonardo cutting up the slices and the slice hits Splinter. I like the fact that a piece of cheese was dribble, dribbling down the face. Anyway, if you never watched the movie Ninja Turtles, the first the first one, please go and do the live action, not the cartoon. Right. Uh, I like the hand. I like this. I like the fact that I can display this mm -hmm. immediately. Um, I like that they give you a new version of handling it. Because remember... When you used to buy the original black, not original black series, but original box, it only had the stand and your saber. Like you couldn't detach. Nope. You couldn't detach anything. Then later down the line, they, they detached it and gave you two stands: one for your lightsaber, one to have the full display, as if it was like completely on. I like this one because it almost becomes like your semi weapon of choice. Like you go to your armory and there's like that wall, yeah, of like weapons, and you pick the one that you want, kind of yeah. like that. I do like this because it's it's like you said with the different handles, the grips, the hilts that they can hold it. They definitely change it up a little bit and makes it more displayable. So you don't look like the way they had them laying like this way. You can kind of stand them up and you can have the action figures there if you want it to really kind of coincide. So it's really cool. And pretty much, if you if you 
if you are a lightsaber fan and you don't want to spend what is the lightsaber company one of the other lightsaber companies i don't know the exact name but you guys know them more better than i do uh saber forge is one of them uh can't remember who the other one is that, but they make actual sabers that you can actually use and beat the snot out of each other with so yeah, but they're Hell like yeah. five six hundred dollars for some of those ultra sabers is one yes jay that's right ultra sabers is another one Thank you, because Ultra Sabers. Remember, you can pick the Lino, the Lino oh, yeah. sword, the sword of Olmen, including a their version of the new He-Man sword, uh, which is not really the He-Man sword, but the later He-Man sword, <laughs> and it comes with lights and sounds. You could pick your Kyber crystal. Before they never used, before they never used to add the Kyber crystal. Now, for an extra fifty dollars, you get your your very own Kyber crystal. Yeah, and uh, D- uh, Dennis is right where they have the the uh, Death Star print on the side there with the wall. Like the way it has that on the hilt, well, the stand. Mm. I mean, so this looks cool. Like it seriously is cool. There's the box. Look at the box art, man. You know you want it. They've improved on this stuff so much now. The boxes almost look like pieces of art now. You don't want to rip apart the box and throw it away. You almost want to keep the box. Uh, could you imagine displaying the box on your wall? I mean, it'll take up, remember, you're going to take up, like, so much, I, I, have, to, I have to take many steps back to, like, display, like, the arm length for some of these pieces. Well, this, this, this would actually be really cool, because if you're someone who likes to go to conventions, and you know damn well the Mandalorian people are going to start hitting conventions once conventions start up again, this would be something really cool to get signed by all of them and have that for uh, display. How uh, about, how about you right now? Only three actors or only three characters to touch this would be the only ones to sign this. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, you get the cast. That's one thing. That's your. That's your. Like for me, I would rather have Din himself. I'd yep. rather have Moff, and I'd rather have the the um the Caradun. Not Caradun. The uh oh my god, the Bo-Katan character to hold it as well too because of the lore. Right, and maybe down the line she does. Hold the saber. We'll never know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, would love uh, for that in the anime Boston this year, but I'm thinking they're not going to. They're not going to. We'll talk. We we can't talk about conventions and everything for a hot minute because um, I know already for 2020 uh, for 2021, uh, four shows have already canceled, and they are in the Pennsylvania and states below me. So the fact that states below me, out of New York, have already canceled for this year. Um, it says a lot with the current administrations. So, you know, hopefully that's not that's not going to happen throughout the whole entire board. Anyway, more cuteness for you guys because I'm surprised that you guys missed this one because I definitely had to have some, and that is the Grogu two pack. Oh, the egg stealer. <laughs> the controversial. <laughs> The controversial scene of genocide and love at the same time. I'm going to meditate, but start genocide at the same time. It's pretty much you have a dual. Yeah, you have a two and one. I'm yeah. going to I'm going to genocide, but I'm going to meditate on it. I'm going to yeah. genocide. I'm going to meditate on it. What do you? I'm going to think about eating the eggs. Nah, I'm going to eat the eggs. <laughs> I'm going to think about eating the eggs. So these are two packs. This is one of the two packs uh, that was released. Uh, this is the second two pack, which is way too cute. Especially this one. <laughs> and how was this missed? I have no idea how you guys missed this. These toys. I know because they're only this tall. The one the with toys the helmet are, is, is adorable. Cute, right? it's seriously, it's adorable. Oh God! He's sitting in a gold mine right here with these little suckers. I like the fact that he's got his version of his abacus right here. <laughs> yep. I, I just gotta realize we just have that. <laughs> we could we, we 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 could go with this one because this was from several months ago when we when when we uh interviewed Georgia Smith. So if you haven't watched the interview with Burge and I interviewing the British Bulldog's daughter, Georgia Smith, we did uh Team British Bulldog for Funko just because we had a little fun. So <laughs> Mm-hmm. So we bring that back for a hot minute. We'll bring it. You know what? We're going to bring that back during the Funko section. But yes, yes, this is way too cute. I am very shocked that a lot of you did not get this. It is still available. I know it's past the holidays, and it's right in everyone's price range. 
It every time really I see, me. So if I remember correctly, what's up? These things are only like ten dollars for these little twin packs, so they're not too bad. Which is pretty dope. They're too cute. And last but not least, this is the other two pack. Yes, the <laughs> oh god, the bowl, the bowl of soup look. That's it. Like it looks like he's trying to push down um, Ursula from uh, Little Mermaid. Like, get back in that bowl. And then he's got the blue lip. Like, there's a got the milk. Got milk. Yeah, yes. that's a got milk. Got blue milk. <laughs> Alien milk. <laughs> I'm actually surprised Disney has not done that yet for like a chocolate syrup, but it turns your milk blue or like, purple, that, whatever it is. Right. Like that should be something that they've done because I remember they did that with the Incredible Hulk movie a few years, well, many years ago. Where they had the green and you turned your chocolate milk. And I know mm. that because Jusco bought so many of those damn things. He actually entered a contest to win a Humvee, finished third place in the country, and won like a custom made Incredible Hulk uh, mountain bike. I can like, also see. see. I can also see them making a deal with Nesquik, um, mm -hmm. just to have like a different chocolate milk made, and just because you want to have this version done. But if you don't want to get it. Just get this. These are just two packs. Remember, there's only three two packs this one, genocide, and I'm gonna meditate on one. I'm gonna do <laughs> genocide meditation. Uh, too cute. Too, I'm gonna call I, this too cute helmet. because it's too cute. I, I love the helmet one. I like the it's helmet like, one too. Just popping up like, hi, dad. I've got your right? helmet, you know. And yeah, and don't play with your food. Oh, yeah, definitely. Slap <laughs> back in there. Don't play with the milk. Don't play with your food. Surprise blue milk mustache. Um, the next toy that we're about to show you guys, it's very important because if you guys are true collectors, you guys missed out on this so much that Hasbro still has this available. What I mean still has this available, their link did not blow up as much as they should have. And they never reposted this on their page. But if you go back on their Facebook page, the link is still active. When I mean still active, this action figure or this toy, I would say this ship is still active. And that is the Slave 1, the Vintage Slave 1. This fits your three and a half ish action figures. The Slave ship is still active. This was released. Five. Right. Um... What Hasbro didn't do was, and they still didn't fix this error. They still haven't fixed this error. The error is that this link is still active on their Facebook page. If you go on Hasbro Pulse's Facebook page, the link to the Slave 1 is still active, meaning that it is not sold out. And they never posted this link on their main page. It's still available, guys. He goes and gets a new body you know, paint job on the, the helmet. Couldn't do the chip? You know, come on. I mean, he's got to he's got to blend in. He's got to blend into the uh, to the desert of Tatooine, right? He's he's got to fit in somewhere. Look, and he's got he's got room in the back. I still can't figure out. I still can't figure out half the scenes and everything because look how much no. How come like there's so much room, right? right? The scene, as if he's flying in space. You know, he's upright somehow. They're in another direction. How are they? How are they doing it? Bob was booked. That was Bob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Slave One is wild for a ship name. Well, they are going with the first series. They're not going to change the name of it due yeah. to current times. They are sticking to their guns, and they should. Uh, that is the interior of the Slave One, uh, which, yet again, I'm still surprised how they, were, how they managed to film a scene in here where there's no room for anyone oh. standing up. I yeah, mean, I do, this, I do remember that from the original. Like, look at the way they walk in. Like, they don't look like there's enough room in there. And then all of a sudden, it's got like space it's for got a bay. Like, six people and stuff like that. Come on. That doesn't have a lot of room. It's got a bay. It, it's got shipping. Uh, it's got sleeping quarters. Remember, <laughs> they have, they have, they have, hot, they, he has room for one carbonite <laughs> prison to be shipped in here while Mando's ship held many yeah, more. <laughs> the Razor Crest. Can we say rest in peace now? Because how about all those people for the Haslab? 
all those people that bought that, and if they come out with a second version of it, <laughs> they're not Haslab. I mean, Haslab did. All right, so Hasbro did make a statement saying that they didn't expect this to happen, and they they were they were hand in hand with Disney with what what the episodes were going to look like, and for yeah. them for 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 Disney and Star Wars to get rid of it means that they have to eventually bring it back. Somehow well, next season, not. the Razor Crest has to come back. If not, the people that bought that, you're sitting on a gold mine for future. Mm -hmm. That's a gold mine. That's a great investment. There's the box. Here's a great investment, especially if you're the old school three and a half inch figure fans. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Take away the boba, put away the bub. <laughs> <laughs> the Bob, <laughs> the Bob updated, updated with Dad Bod Boba, and you're good. You, you got it, right? I'm. We're, I, to be honest, I'm waiting for them to release Dad Bod Boba. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be funny. This is gonna start trending for a hashtag, and Disney's gonna be like, "Who the hell is starting this?" And some idiot <laughs> back in New England. They uh, did it. <laughs> A couple guys on the East Coast, one from New York, one from New England, just decided to, like, a couple months ago, just make Dad Bod Boba. We're trying to get it to trend, people. Trying to get it to trend. Hey, every time you see Boba Fett, just put in Dad Bod Boba. It is make, us <laughs> make us proud. Make like us proud. It's like the clown car. It's like the clown car. You could just, like, 14 things, come, you know, put, put, it, put into it, and, like, 40 of them come out. Like, you never know. All right. For, uh, this is a question to Heather, okay? If this is a lunchbox, where's the thermos? Where's the space for the thermos? Where do you have <laughs> lunch? Right? Is no this idea. the carrying? Is this the carrying thermos? It just holds a drink, right? Is it going to hold your bluish warm milk? <laughs> he just he just throws it. Uh, okay, last but not least in the Hasbro line, which we only have one picture of, and that's because Hasbro just released this today, but didn't really announce it, and that is Optimus Prime DX, this is the DXL Optimus Prime uh, dis it's going to be distributed by Hasbro but it's made by uh, by 3.0, they're the same companies that did um, uh, the Bumblebee that we previously had shown you guys Oh, that thing was beautiful So we don't have the full accessories yet. Uh, Hasbro has not unleashed us, has not unleashed the uh, the rest of the <laughs> the, the rest of the uh, the accessories yet. Thank you guys. Already jumping on the bandwagon of Dad Bod Boba. Yeah, we all are Dad Bod Boba. That is so true, Timmy. That is so true. Yes. Look, they uh, there. My kids are watching. I'm sure they can make it fit. The I figures of the yeah, you know, kids. I love you. <laughs> they understand. They have TikTok. Don't worry. Um, no, this thing looks incredible, dude. This looks right off the movie. Oh my and god, this looks nuts. The price may be much, but we're looking at an almost twelve-inch figure made of die-cast metal. This Fully... has got to be what five, six hundred? No, two uh, around the two uh, around the two to three hundred range. For die-cast metal, not that's bad. not bad. No, for a diecast version, uh, I did have it up for a hot second, uh, but yeah, it, it's it's within it's well within the two range two two twenty nine, all right, two twenty nine, which isn't a bad thing. It is metal, it is heavy. You you know, Heather's kids can definitely throw it around the room and definitely hit someone with it. <laughs> Whoever's got kids can definitely do it. Uh, <laughs> I just you you. you you don't want uh, Heather's son, Johnny. Johnny's diesel. He looks like his father. He's going to rip you apart. You don't want that. <laughs> uh, someone says, do you regret <laughs> Do you regret us being Not here yet? Not one bit. I love having you guys here. This is making this night fun. Yeah, Tim said this is Optimus on the juice. <laughs> someone hit a little bit of a little, little something, something. Right? Now I'm going with Heather saying, sexy dad bod boba. How about... Um, how about Burgi dad, uh, dad Burgi bod boba? I don't know, dad, dad, dad bod Burgi. I'm, I'm working on the COVID 25, not the COVID 19. I'm just saying, <laughs> uh, has a backache. <laughs> this has a backache. Back what because the chest because the chest plate looks like it's way over the top. It does look like it's way over the top, especially <laughs> here. But I do like the separation of the chest plates because if you remember at one point when he gets the matrix. The chest plates do separate. Mm -hmm. 
So, from the Revenge of the Fallen, if I know some of you guys are going to sit there and start doing the Optimus Prime voice, Muffin Top Boba. <laughs> you're breaking them. You're breaking them, guys. You are so breaking. You're so breaking uh, Bergy right now. God, it's, it. it's the best. Forget Breaking Bad. It's Breaking Bergy right now. <laughs> So that's all we have with everything Hasbro. Um, the Transformers was just released not too long ago, and everything else is currently available. So please, please, please go happy hunting. If you can't find a certain action figure, let us know. We'll point you in the right direction. I will point because right now there is a there is a huge controversy happening right now, and that is the current G.I. Joe action figures from Hasbro. And apparently, just like the Mandalorian figure that I posted not too long ago, scalpers have already gotten their hands on the whole entire collection, meaning that overnight, remember, these boxes hold, depending on how much they hold, they hold between like six figures, and they might have like four or five boxes of them. So about someone coming in to buy 25 action figures, kind of jacked up, mm -hmm. completely, completely messed up. Um, so if you are looking for certain toys, uh, let me know. I'll help and put you guys in the right direction. If not that, go stop by to a GameStop near you. Call this guy. I believe there's another fool on his page called Jabo. He's got. He's working for GameStop as well too. Go to the GameStop stores and place a pre-order, and guarantee yourself. Guarantee. Why? Because we like guarantees. Because I want to guarantee a convention. Uh, Heather, maybe me too. Uh, I'm delayed. Check. I was like to say, yeah, you can cut our checks. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure your posts, your your comments are joined us for this evening. You're making him laugh like there's no tomorrow. He needs it. He he needs it. He's had a very, he's 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 had a very strange week. So he needs all the laughter and joy you guys can give him. <laughs> I like this one, man. Drip drip. <laughs> 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 but no, I with Target though. Target is. Uh, legit we know it's the employees it's employees that are taking the figures because there was like one guy that was sitting there logged in on their site and he showed showed that they had six action figures and about an hour later he was still in the parking lot looking they went from six action figures to one action figure now right. a single person left so how did you go from six to one when you supposedly said you didn't have any target right. employees like legit like no offense if anybody's a target employee some of your staff sucks. They've been taking stuff and not putting it out properly at all. Like it's well, ridiculous. Walmart as well too. Oh, right. Walmart Remember, too. we walk. What is it? We walk by a Walmart. We walk by one of the WalMarts, and we saw one of the gaming consoles. Mm -hmm. And the gaming console looked like it was in a better box condition, and we saw it stored away in another location yep. on the Walmart, um, on in the Walmart store. Yep. And meanwhile, on display is the broken box edition. Mm -hmm. It's on purpose. So some of the employees purposely work there to kind of wait. They'll get to the twenty. You look, they'll get their twenty to twenty-five percent off for the first item, or they hide them in the back somewhere so that later down the line, when it goes to get discounted, they're walking out with super discounted stuff. What's mm -hmm. up? Ruby? Uh, well, really we're about to get into some video games. Now, this is something that Bergie and I have noticed in the stores. I think it was a Walmart or was it a Target, if I remember correctly, with the video games? Uh, I think it was a Target. I think it was Target. I think it was Target. So a lot of people don't know is Jack Specific um, was a toy company, is still a toy company. They were responsible for everything from the, from the late 90s to early 2000s WWF into WWE action figures. Now, later down the line, Jack Specific not only loses their video game deal with WWE, they also lose their toy line to Mattel. Um, but then recently, they are now responsible for a new toy line, and that is Apex Legends. So I don't know if anyone is a video game fan for Apex Legends. Some people are, some people aren't. Um, Apex Legend is uh, free to download and play if you do play video games. But for the people that do love collecting action figures, especially for video games, this is for you guys. It's pretty dope. Uh, uh, this is uh, Octane, the actual Octane action figure. Not much of an Apex fan. Like I know it's a video game that is very popular. Uh, there are a lot of fans of it. Not my cup of tea. But these are cool action figures because of the amount of stuff that they have and the, diff the difference in 
the multiple versions of the figures that they have. Actually, I, I don't mind these as much as I hate the Fortnite ones, truthfully, sure. but these aren't that bad. Well, they look weird because you've never played the video game. So if you play the video game, then you'll see the characters. There's the box art for the Apex Legends. That's the front of the box. That's the back of the box. They have two other characters. We'll get to one more as well, too. Um, this is you know, also... You the... know what I do like about them, though? They come what? with a, a stand. So you can stand yes. your character on it, you know? <laughs> Did that one come with a stand? I had a stand. Right oh, there. yeah, I had a stand. Yep. I don't I think it was this a shield. character we're showing. You could probably use it as a shield, but it looks like you can also use it as a stand or something. Probably. You probably get a bunch of them. You look, yeah. it's got 25 points of articulation. Way to let us know it's got 25 points of articulation. <laughs> it can move. It can bend. It, it can do bend and snaps. I don't know. <laughs> this thing looks like uh, uh, a really bad version of General Grievous from uh, Star Wars. Uh, this also looks like it belongs in. It also looks like it belongs to Terminator. Yeah, one right? of the exoskeletons. When in the near future, they're coming. To, they're coming to get you. Yeah. They're like, we need battle armor on the T eight hundred. The T eight hundred. There it is. There's the front of the box. That's the back of the box. That's all I got to say about these toys. So for your Apex Legends toys, there we go. Now, here is a line. That I'm very proud of, but I'm not proud of the company that has these characters. And the the toy the the company I'm gonna mention is DC. DC has been good, could be great. Sometimes they're great and they fall off the deep end. What I mean when they first started doing their DC director, the DC universe, multiverse action figures, they did build the figure sets. And sooner or later down the line, fans were up in arms with some of the action figures time and time again. And them just going directly to one man. To one man. And he started doing NHL action figures. And we're going to start with, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> as I not even get the screen right. We're going to start with the Todd McFarlane multiverse figure. This is the drowned action figure. This is a build a figure set. We'll get to the very end because why? We're gonna show the accessories for it. Yes. Um now this is supposed to be what their version of uh, Aquaman, I believe, correct? Or Mira, yeah I keep forgetting the story. Like... Yeah, Mira, the darker version of Mira. Yeah. So it I don't look totally history bad. for it. Someone who's a bigger DC fan can let us know where we messed up on. Uh, when it comes to this stuff, but this is more for you guys. You guys are DC. You guys, a lot of you are also DC fans. I was a DC fan. Someone ruined my Batman experience, so I'm trying to get my Batman back. <laughs> I'm a DC fan, and I'm actually good to see now that McFarland has actually taken up this line because he has improved on a lot of stuff. Because Marvel was crushing it with their toy line, DC was not putting out good action figures. They weren't just the articulation on them, the detail on them was not right. McFarland no, is no, they did. no, no, no. DC but there was one, some that were bad. So when it came to Toy Biz and the DC Universe one, the DC Multiverse one, DC Multiverse was winning. And for some reason, they jumped on the bandwagon of getting He-Man. So once they got He-Man and started doing He-Man versus DC, they fell off that deep end fast. Mm -hmm. And and Toy Biz, which was doing also WCW, was hurting. Those toy uh, Toy Biz was hurting hard. Um, so at one point DC was winning, and when Hasbro got the rights to Marvel, those toys. If you remember those early editions of the Hasbro line, which came with a carded box, they were getting better, and mm. they were going straight for build the figures because it made people it made people go back to collecting. Yeah. And you're right, though. Like there is, like, I love, I, I, I absolutely loved the DC unit, or the DC multiverse line before they screwed it up and started regurgitating and regurgitating. When I mean, the same figure got released three times was a was a complete ripoff. No new paint job, no new nothing. Yeah. So apparently, you got a you know a mean sunflower. <laughs> 
What's up from Twitch? If you guys what are up? watching us from Twitch. All right, more on the DC uh, on the DC uh, multiverse figure. We have the drowned. Which is also part of the build of figure set. We'll get to the very end of what this figure builds because why it comes. This is this is also the reason why McFarlane wins. All right, mm -hmm. comes with a stand. The toy comes with a stand, and if you watched my show yesterday on the build a figure I did, my toys, they have a hard time standing after you take them out of the box. They don't stand. Yeah. I want to say I think that is the Triton uh, that she's holding. Yeah, I think that is Aquaman's Triton. I believe yeah. she's this version, twisted metal type version of uh, Aquaman. Um, but right. it's Mira that's the, basically the queen of the undersea. The underworld. underworld. So there it is. Yeah. yeah. And and nice, nice enough, they named it. It's from Earth 11. And this week in pop, uh, this week in pop culture, we're going to talk about uh, DC finally coming out and mentioning all the different Earths, meaning that where Wonder Woman stands and where Ben Affleck stands and where Michael Keaton stands are two totally different Earths. So we're going to be talking about that on Friday, on Sunday. Here's another cool one. Uh, the Batman, the death metal figure. <sighs> Looking like the Grim Reaper there. Right? He de he definitely looks good there. Yeah, I like it. It has the, the studded jacket, you know, like Dude, looks like the main man, this Lobo style with the jacket and stuff like that. Definitely. Uh, nice. Kevin, no. Uh, well, granted, he did do Spawn, but after Spawn, remember, he stopped doing action figures. He legitly stopped. When he started going back, it was literally to the main, um, to like sports memorabilia stuff. He's a big baseball fan. Yes. His number one goal wasn't to have Spawn. Spawn was just an additive to his character. Remember, we went through several several years of no Spawn. Yeah, he focused so mostly on his sports sports line, huge mm -hmm. into the sports that, figures. The NHL was his first. I want to say baseball or football was his second, wasn't it? And then he jumped baseball to basketball. football at the same time. Baseball yeah. baseball and football were the same time, and last came um, basketball because they were on the under the finish line uh, contract. And I think some of them had deals, side deals with Upper Deck and other companies. Because Shaq had his own toy coming out. Remember, everyone remembers the Shaq Fu when he had the dunk one? Yep. Uh, that was a different company that released it. And Jordan was on the Upper Deck. So McFarlane was trying really hard to get all those toys. He was trying to get Jordan. And he and could never get mind, Jordan. When, and when he came out with this stuff, we had starting lineup, which was, <laughs> good God, <laughs> action teams. Oh, oh, bad. Yes. Not good. Not good. And to answer Jabo's question, yes, they do have the bike. I don't have the bike. You guys can go searching for it. They do have the bike that goes with this Batman to make him look like a go they, um, the death metal version of Ghost Rider. I want to see someone cosplaying as this. Forget generic Batman. I want, I want the new versions. I want cosplayers for com conventions. If if you're not going to be at a convention this year, this is the time to upgrade, update your your. Your cosplay. If you're a Batman fan, stop doing generic Batman. Do something you're gonna be comfortable with walking walking into the convention because this looks like it could be a T-shirt with a little battle armor, but you know for a fact you can get some of these jackets at your nearest Utopia or thrift store or goth store nearby. Especially these boots. Come on. Oh yeah. Come on. That these are Doc Martens, baby. Find, that jacket you can find in like a Savers. These know? are Doc Martens. You can find these at a goth store. You're making these at Home Depot. Granted, this has to be foam because I remember the last yeah. time someone brought in metal, they were, they got their butt handed to them. Nope, 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 nope. And actually, to answer Stefan's question, we're going to talk about this particular topic on Sunday. Uh, DC announced something yesterday into today about Batman, and what I mean, there's going to be multiples of a lot of characters. Yes, Ooh, I look forward to this conversation on Sunday. Yes. Hi, Amanda. Thank you for joining us from Twitch. Hope you guys are enjoying us. She said hi, Burgie. That is the accessories it comes with. Like, how many of you guys cosplay? Do you guys actually, are, are some of you guys that are big, Bur I know you guys are here for Burgie. You guys cosplay, right? When you guys cosplay, <laughs> I, know you guys, I know you guys don't come here for me. You guys come here for Burgie, but that's a different story. But I know some of you guys cosplay. Would you change your cosplay now to make it more aesthetically for yourself and not try to make it movie accurate, which a lot of 
which a lot of people go crazy for. You know, Burge, Burge, you've cosplayed. What was your, um, what's one of the characters you like to cosplay as? Uh, I do Peter B. Parker from the Enter the Spider-Verse cartoon. Movie. Um, I absolutely love it because, you know, I'm not exactly sitting there with the uh, svelte uh, body, so I like it. Um, right. It definitely works out. Uh, I know a few people did like my Baloo. I did a Tailspin version of Baloo. I did a human version of uh, Baloo from Tailspin. Uh, right. Came out really cool. I really like it. All right. So, Jaybo, what is this cosplay mashup? My cosplays are me and my mashups. What are these mashups? Jaybo does a Venom, uh, Venomized uh, Stormtrooper. Which oh, the, the Black Venomized Stormtrooper? Yep. Gets a lot of looks at shows and conventions when he does them. Yeah. No, it looks took me really a while cool. to realize that that gentleman has purchased my Venomized Stormtrooper uh, the print. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had purchased it at the at Super Mega Fest many years ago. Right? Was it the time where Johnny Yost was, was, was uh, uh, Johnny from Karate Kid was there? Or was it the year that Tori Wilson and uh, RVD was there? With uh, what the heck was the other guy's name? Oh my god, the dude from Twenty One Jump Street, <laughs> Richard Grieco. Yes. Richard Grieco, thank you, because you were there. Man, there's a man that did not age well. Ooh. He did. We found out how old he was. Tori Wilson and RVD and I had a bet to find out how old Richard Grieco was. We thought the man was older, and we were all wrong. Yeah, he's like in his late forties, isn't he? Early fifties. Now he's now he's fifty. At the time, he was still in his forties. Oh. Yeah, at the time, he was still in his forties. I, I met him a few years ago at Rhode Island Comic Con, and uh, my mom uh, was a big fan of Twenty One Jump Street back in the day. And I got her an autographed uh, picture of uh, Richard Grieco. Uh, she signed it. He signed it. I'm sorry, and it was a two pack one, so it had Johnny Depp. So Ooh. I'm on the hunt to eventually get that signed. I gotta find it. I don't know what mom did with it, but I'm gonna have to find it. Ooh, you have to go through all those boxes. Yep, got to go through the boxes. We also now, have this is amazing. The Damian Wayne. Yes, I like the art piece that's with it. The cardboard yep. art piece. Even though this is where I wish McFarlane would also add, like you know, like the trading cards. Mm -hmm. Throw those in there, especially on those art pieces, to know exactly what we're getting, like all the info. Because remember when, like, you bought your toys by Toy Biz. And you got the Marvel's action figures, and they had an exclusive card, and it said Toy Biz on the back of it. And mm -hmm. remember, you want to be able to figure out where that issue comes from. First appearance of this figure was in this issue. I always like that about those. Well, I hit the wrong button. I just like how he's using the. Uh, anybody's ever watched Krull? He's got the weapon. Mm. <laughs> it's an old, old movie from the 80s, by the way. Krull? Don't you mean the uh, the guy who played Hercules who played the movie Crawl? Yeah. Was that 90s? Early 2000s? Uh, was that released in like li late 90s? Crawl was mid, mid to early 80s, like 83, 84. Okay, then the second release when they had uh, when they had the dude from Hercules playing it was 90s. That was called, that was called Cull. K-U-L-L. -L. The that one I'm Krull. talking about was called Crawl. K-R-U-L-L. -L. It was basically an alien... Thing on a planet sci-fi it was pretty it was pretty good the glaive thank you jaybo that's what it's called the glaive i knew you would know it damn, uh, damn this, nerd. this looks like it belongs remember we, we were we were looking at the two packs and i was a ninja turtles with um mm -hmm. uh with the batman figures this belongs on part of the two pack i wish it would replace that robin with this robin you know what's the nice thing is too is this also kind of reminds me remember how we were talking about how they did that with the different the laughing robins Mm -hmm. This is that body. You could even do something like this with the face. So if you bought these, you could even do that with the face on these characters or something too. So they look like they're interchangeable. So and apparently uh, someone has a seven-year-old who uh, does a Mandalorian Captain America right now. My life is a mess. I don't know. I sound, it sounds like uh, Daylene, he has to enter the uh, kids' costume contest at uh, Comic-Con this year. I'm just saying he might win, let's say. He I'm might sure. win. Well, that that type of costume, come on, that's an easy grab, easy win, right. easy crab. Grab, uh, well, grab. hopefully, well, hopefully, Ruby is there for cosplaying, or you get new cosplayers to run the judging of it, to judge it. I like to judge a cosplay. I'm not a cosplayer, so I can't judge anything. Nope. I wouldn't. 
I wouldn't know. Actually, I can sew, but I'm not sewing a costume together. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there's the there's the box art for your Robin. Happy hunting. Go to your local stores. Happy hunting on the Targets and the Walmarts because they go pretty. They have a really good selection, and they seem to be lasting a little longer on the shelves. If you're not if you're not getting any luck, go to the Game Stops. Mm -hmm. uh, go to Amazon. Amazon will have these uh, toys first. So if you don't get them on Amazon, then comes your Target, then comes your Walmart, then comes your Game Stops. So be on that list. I love you guys. You guys just all cosplaying like there's no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The love of the cosplay. I don't remember how many more do we have. All right, last but we also have one more of the McFarlane line, and that is the Superman, the Red Sun Superman. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people that are that are still love this series, mm -hmm. love the Red Sun <laughs> Cold, like the Red Sun Cold War edition. Yeah. Of this, I thought it was really good, and uh, they know I know they made an animated uh cartoon movie of it, and it was good, it was solid on HBO Max because uh, the DC Universe app pretty much doesn't work anymore. Does it work? You have the DC Universe app, right? I did, uh, I think you can read on it like the comics, but I don't think you can do anything with uh, the TV series anymore. I think they're all transferred over to HBO Max. I'm watching Young Justice on it, love it. Because I want to know, because of all the smart things that they did was be able to read all the old comic books, but if they still have the price at nine ninety nine, I don't see it working. Hmm. Right? Was it wasn't it at nine ninety nine or twelve ninety nine? Twelve ninety nine. It was twelve ninety nine when it came out. All right, maybe 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 nine ninety nine. Because if I can read two comics, you know, not go to a store, spend the five dollars for certain books, mm -hmm. yeah, it could be worth it. But also just to catch up on old storylines or catch up on stuff. You know, right? Hey, 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 DC! You got this huge library of great stories. Might want to check them out before you make right? your next movie. Might Just want start. to. Might want to like start dishing out some stuff. Yeah. Uh, DC Flashpoint anime. Um, anime was part of the best of all of them. Uh, I like. I like the um the cartoon version of Flashpoint. Just wasn't a big fan of it. It was just too short. Remember, a lot of these cartoon movies should be the extended two to three parts because I've watched, remember they did two versions of death of Superman and they still mm -hmm. didn't get it right on the cartoon version. So the first one being in the late nineties, early two thousands, that one was okay. When in the yeah. second, it, it was worse than the first version. See, I thought the animation was a little better on the second one around. I think the first one they rushed it and they didn't even mention any of the Justice League or Justice Society or anybody that fought against Doomsday. At least with the second one, they kind of mentioned some of it. And they showed some of the Justice League fighting him. So at least it was a little bit more to the story. Yes, not as good as the original comic. And they'll never do it right. Um, and I right. Think that's I like I have some of the rights. Right. But they also missed the storyline of like the aliens taking the body. They go, they yep. take him away for many, many years. The body's legitly missing. And there's that huge storyline of everyone's hunting and they're going to Lex Luthor. Of like, you stole the body. He's like, no, I just have his DNA. Yeah. Hence the birth of Super Superboy. So we have many storylines that Superboy and Metal Superman exist, and they don't even go to that crazy storyline. If they ever do it, it literally is a six-part movie or, oh, anim yeah. or animation. It's literally like a six-part anim anim animated series of that storyline. Because it could be good. If it's short, it's going to be good short. Yeah, you've got uh, the Eradicator. You've got Superboy. You've got uh, John Steele. Like, they had some really good storylines with that comic book. So... Classic pose That's here for Superman. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. Comes with a stand. Comes with a flying stand. Two stands. Which is cool. The flying stand is amazing. Because why? You can use Batman doing the same thing. <laughs> if you need Batman to come down on something, these stands work just as good too. And there it is. There's the box art for the Red Sun Superman. For all you crazy cats and kittens. <laughs> Happy hunting for those. Um, I will say this though: there is one store that I will 100% avoid until its very last minute, um, and I still hate going to them. But if I really have to, I will go to Mulberry Comics. But just remember, go for their books, not for the toys. Yeah, because they even jack up the trading cards now. I literally saw something 
Uh, they had trading card boxes, generic twenty dollar boxes that you find in the store, thirty five, forty dollars now. Walmart's doing that too now because uh, so many scalpers and whatnot were going around buying the all whole collection. of the uh, well the Pokemon cards. So yeah. Walmart decided that a fifty dollar like Champions Elite Pack box uh, for forty nine ninety nine now is one hundred and forty nine ninety nine. Son of a gun. So, yep. They saw it, purpose. so they jacked it up. They did jack it up. That, see, I hate you, Scout. I hate the scalpers, man. Like, they're they're ruining it for everyone else. 2020, the year of the scalper. I'm telling you. I mean, yeah, I, well, I've seen a lot of trading cards. Like, there's certain cards I've collected, and I've seen the prices of them go up. But I'll, if I go to a store, I buy, like, one or two packs. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. But these are current cards. The fact that the current cards are going for so much, and a twenty dollars box is now going for hundreds of dollars more. It's crazy. Yep. Uh, any store that Burgi is in that day, just yeah, come see me. We'll pre-order. You know, I got numbers. I got to hit. Come on. <laughs> yeah, uh, they limit how many Pokemon card packs people can buy now. Yes, if you uh, pre-order more than six now, they're canceling your orders. Wow, no more than six. Yep. Yep. This is for GameStop. Yeah. Yep. That's crazy. They can't do more than six. So we had one kid I know came into the Chapel View store I was at. He he brought in his girlfriend, I think his brother and his brother's girlfriend. They each ordered six under each of their names. And we know Why? he's just basically going to because he's looking for individual cards in there that could be worth like a thousand to twelve hundred to eighteen hundred dollars. Right, because they're all just looking for one card and every pack has yep. that one card. Which but is if the you evolution. Get that one, but if you get that one card. That one card could basically cover your entire day and whatever you make on that, all gravy. So don't they know that there's other retail stores that sell never mind. Oh yeah, they hit them all. Oh, they hit them all. We even got the sneaker heads now. All the guys that did the sneakers that would buy the yeah. sneakers would sit out inside there. They're now getting involved into the pops and Pokemon because mm -hmm. they've got the bots and stuff like that. So now they're involved in that for uh the selling and purchasing and stuff like that. It's it's vicious it's now. Insane. Right, man. It's vicious. All right, for all you for all you literally predators out there, I'd like to say, this is the one time I'm actually going to use this as a reference because why we're going to yeah. talk about a predator toy. NECA released the Predator Two uh, action figure. Uh, basically, just call it the Damaged City Hunter. We just have the one image of it. So if you're a big fan of the Predator line, especially Predator Two, which I liked a lot, mm -hmm. go hunt for this figure. I don't know when it's going to hit the shelves of Targets and WalMarts. I haven't seen um, but be on the lookout, especially you are, especially if you are a predator fan. I just like all the amount of accessories for it, like different hands. They've got the cut off arm, the different helmets, the different faces. Like they did a hell of a job with this. Like the predator action figures have actually done really well with a lot of their uh, figures, the accessories, the design, the detail. On it. I mean, oh, oh god, I uh, I was like, oh, <laughs> got me excited on that one. Um, yes, I think it's they a, did a great job with this. All right, now that you know exactly what the next what the next one's going to be. So we also have the uh, we've done the P uh, the PCS collectibles. Um, they are known for the Power Rangers. They are now known for the GI Joes. They have now jumped on the Ninja Turtles bandwagon. Oh, which I'm okay this, with. Which now you're okay with because why we now see just the one image of Bebop. And we also the, have. Look at the detail on that, man. That looks like it, they pulled it off the cartoon. Like, well, you've seen, you've seen the big ones when they had the White yep. Ranger on on the shelf, so you know yep. how big the box is. Yep. So, you know, with the matte finish, you know the extra details, the intricacy on it. And if you're a fan of the cartoon series, yeah. God, dude, this is fantastic. Someone said, "Burgie, there's your new cosplay." <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I like how someone says that's impressive. Uh, but we also have Krang. Seriously, man. These are nuts. The detail. Like, I'm so glad, like, I'm an adult now to that have my own money and I can buy my own toys. Because the stuff is so cool now than what it was when we were kids, man. Where were, where were these? It's not this good a detail, honestly, to tell you the truth. Not this good. Oh, you want good a detail? Oh, God, man. Rock steady. Look at that. I love it. The, the this the gun. It looks like something out of like Nintendo. Like I want to mm -hmm. give that to like you know, uh, 
Captain NES or whatever is the kid from the Nintendo cartoon series they did. Uh, All right, Captain N and the Game Master. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Captain N and the Game Master. Yes. So good. Last but not least out of the series, Shredder. Look at Shredder, dude. Ah, Shredder looks badass there, man. And And as, as you're looking at Shredder, you're now thinking of Uncle Phil's voice of doing yes! Shredder right now. Thank All you. right. Just by looking at him, the fact that you, it took everyone 25 years after knowing that Uncle Phil has done the voice for Shredder just kills it. So the guy that did the voice of Shredder was Will Smith's uncle in Fresh Prince of Bel Air, like Phil Avery. This man is a legend. He did this one new awesome. until his death. He was, up. he was the man. And if anybody's ever uh, actually watched uh, the live action movies, the first Shredder in the live action movie was the doctor uh, in Lost, mm-hmm. uh, the head scientist of uh, Dharma. He was yeah. the, the head scientist. So, little known fact. Little known fact. All right, we'll, give the, we'll, we'll give your faces a little break because why? Get your popcorn, get your napkins, get your spanker chips ready because we're going to get into the world of Funkos because I know all you guys cannot stop talking, collecting, and whatnot about Funkos. You said Funko? I know, right? I had to wipe the drool off. I'm just sorry. I jokingly say this and everything too, but like literally I cannot. You guys... Cannot get enough about Funkos. You guys hunt for certain exclusives. Mm-hmm. We're going to get to those uh, certain weekly as well, too. Not every Funko is listed. So go to your local stores to pick up some of the chases that are that are missing from the stream. Remember, we're only limited in time. It's only supposed to be a two-hour show. But because of you guys, we go, for, we go longer. <laughs> Giggity. Anyway. <laughs> Giggity. Uh, let's start with something new, but something old. How about we start a little 40 year old virgin, him holding Oscar? God, I love this movie <laughs> so bad. God, I love the fact that we started with this one first. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. No, not sorry. Sorry, but not bunch sorry. Of, b- bunch of nerds talking about toys. Hey, let's start off with 40 year old virgin. Let's start with 40 year old virgin. <laughs> Why? You got to take him out of the case. Yeah, I, my toys are still in their case. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what she. There's a, there's a few there's a few Lucys running around, but you know, right? Yeah, I'll do it last time. You know, making voices, doing <laughs> that stuff. All uh, right. First off, we'll, we'll start with the forty year old virgin. Uh, he has Oscar held in his hand, and then next we're gonna 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 go to the chase collection of this one, and that is just a different color belt buckle, literally different color belt buckle, and a different color of Oscar. Yep, he's in the red suit. Literally, we could just do this. Camera one, mm. camera two, <laughs> camera one. Oh, it also changes the hair color of the Oscar, too. And the hair color? Dark, I didn't notice dark, the Diego. Dark hair, so, now brown hair. Yep. Uh, camera one, camera two. Camera <laughs> one, camera two. And if you don't get that reference, I, I expect you guys to rewatch Wayne's World and just go through that again. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson! <laughs> And we also have, oh, speaking of Kelly Clarkson edition, we also have the, <laughs> yeah, the hair wax. Which I, I cannot say how, dude, I laugh so, so, so hard at this part in the movie. Tears stream down my face. Didn't you lose a bet and, and had to get your, ch- your chest shaved? I, I, remember, I remember hearing this at one point, you know? I've never, I've never had to have my, no, I had my, the funny is I had my eyebrows waxed one time and I will ever, never. Ever, ever, never, ever. God bless you, women that have this done. Y'all right. are angels. I never would I ever do that again. Hell no. I like this one. Isn't this movie based on Burgie's <laughs> life? Actually, no. Uh, knowing from Burgie, hell no, 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 nah. no. But in two years, it'll be me. But that's a different story. <laughs> Born again, virgin. <laughs> and in two years, it's gonna be me. I'm four. I'm gonna. I'm 38 years old and still single. All right. Anyway, uh, next we have is the um, uh, the Funko ads icons. We have the Flintstones. We have Barney Rubble holding the Cocoa Puffs. 
I do You're a big fan of some of the ad, huh? I love the ad. The ad icon pops uh, a lot of them. I actually just uh, pre-ordered a bunch of them too, like uh, the Coca-Cola one, the Kool-Aid Punch, you know, stuff like that. I grabbed a few of them. Uh, huge yeah. fan. These yeah, cereals that's... are the best. I love these cereals so much. Do you still get it? Yeah, the Cocoa I still Pebbles. Buy it well. I still buy the Cocoa Pebbles uh, and Cocoa Puffs and uh, the Fruity Pebbles. Every Speaking once of Fruity Pebbles. Yep. Uh, well, I don't little... eat it in a stone bowl with a stone spoon. I probably should, though. Just saying, you know. So, so little fun fact and everything when it comes to Fruity Pebbles, The Rock called John Cena a Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> and since John Cena was the most popular wrestler at the time, Fruity Pebbles made their own version of Rice Krispies treats and had John Cena on the box for a limited time. Mm -hmm. Little known facts. Yep. And... And also, if you write WWE yeah, access, he got paid hard. And uh, yeah, it was a very, it was a very short, limited time. I don't know if anyone's tried those; they weren't bad. It was just Rice Krispies treat with, with fruity pebbles. Yeah, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. Fruity pebbles, and you know, I still buy the big box. You know, oh, you, yeah. you remember, you remember my original display? I had fruity pebbles on the table. Yep, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Just because I had a bunch of con goers by day three, the the stench of con con people that haven't showered all day, and fruity pebbles masks that smell like there's no tomorrow. Oh God, yes it does. Yes it does. That that stench. But here's something that you will like, and a lot of people who are the fan of uh, my Umbrella Academy need to know that they need to pick up their My Chemical Romance Funko mm -hmm. Pop. And if you're a big fan of the Funko albums, like Bergie is, yes. this is the My Chemical Romance box. I like this. I wish I wish this came with a CD. I wish right? this came with like. I wish this was smaller. The backdrop of it was a CD. Was it uh, was a was an album like an extra release of the album, or like a limited edition album piece, something like you that. You could you could actually do this, if, which I think was cool because me, you, and Mayhem were talking about this one time with my uh, Notorious B.I.G. one I have where that back where it says you can see this back it says romance on it that could have been a seven inch album and even if you put one song on that and just made like a seven inch vinyl right because vinyls are the rage right now yeah you could have made money on these would have made bank on these um imagine that you had that with the notorious big you had uh black sabbath now you had this one you had ozzy like you you're talking some serious money on that Those you could have made is were the singles they only had four songs in them two songs in the front two songs in the back or if you were lucky one song in the front one song in the back they yep. could have easily done the seven inch finals you're right and released a new single yep. an unreleased track just on those funko pops hey we'll take we'll take a percentage as yep. as mayhem will go off and do this every now and then you can cut us a big fat check, the check. for being right and guess what people will buy it would you not buy if you're a big My Chemical Romance fan, would you not buy an unreleased track, especially oh. if it came with a Funko Pop? Yes. <laughs> so. uh, funny story, Daylene. Someone actually said that to me one time when I was at the uh, Toy Vault for the Pop, the, uh, what is it, the, the It, Pennywise. And someone asked me, well, what does the, the Pennywise Pop uh, Funko Soda Pop taste like? And I was just like, I'm sorry, what? Like, well, it's a soda, right? What does it taste like? I'm, it, it's not. It's a toy in a can. Well, does it have but a soda? On, no. no. But no, it on not. the packaging, it says action figure. Yeah. Yep. On the front packaging, it says action figure. Uh, they are going to release Beastie Boys yep. later because they're, they're getting into the Hall of Fame and they're going to wait yeah. until the full announcement. They are on the list to be on the nomination list. So they're waiting for the full... Um, for the full thing to get the Beastie Boys released. Uh, next on the list is Queen, which I thought was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And you tell me you, they don't have an unreleased track or something, even one of their greatest hits. You put that on a seven inch vinyl, people wouldn't buy it. People would buy it in a heartbeat just to have that. And you know how many more collectors you would add to your, you know, your overall sales? Big right. time. Big time. And 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 you know this isn't coming out of the box because the 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 display of it is what sells. Mm -hmm. The back display is the, the is the sell of this Funko Pop, and I kind of wish they also gave you a promo code to download an al an old album or if they released a single. 
God, yeah, that would have been awesome. Put in like an iTunes thing or Spotify or something like that, and you get something. Right? Make a deal with iTunes. Could you imagine the sales on that one? These I'm, Funkos I'm be worth saying, tons we're more. Look, we're just looking for like 1%, even half a percent of whatever you get for these. I'm just saying. A little bit of sales. We'll take a penny. from. We'll take 10% of each sale. Like 10, uh, 10 cents from per sale. So that's yep. plenty. Um, yeah, with buying stuff. Why well, was making America dumb again? All right. Uh, anyway, we also have the new DC Imperial Batman. <sighs> look at this bad boy. Oh, Bertie. Dude, I I really dig some of these new ones now um, with the new pops and stuff like that. I love the samurai look of Batman because the different versions of Batman that they've done, whenever they've done him as a samurai, even the storyline, I actually like it I because I feel like he would be this style character. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, he would fit perfectly in that type of era, the way Batman's been created in the storylines and the myth of him. Um, I really think this is great. And then we also have the Harley Quinn version of the Imperial Palace. It's I, would Harley Quinn her, fans. I would see her more at, like, obviously she's a Harlequin, so I could see yeah. her more of a jester style, not in the scary style of it. Um, but, I mean, it's a solid piece, and if you're a collector, if you're a Harley fan, you're going to get this. This is a, a necessity. Then we have Robin. Definitely it's a chase. That's all that matters. It's a I Robin. Like, they make I him like a chase. This, he, I like this, but he looks like a mini guy. Like he looks like a like a, a dwarf. Like, you know, he's a little person. It just that's really doubtful because of the way the outfit looks on him, where how long it sits on him. You know? I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't look right. Anyway, there's your generic Robin. So you get with cat uh, with you know hoodie on, hoodie off, happy hunting yeah. for all the he's uh, yes, these are off based on the uh, the anime edition of the yep. um, of the uh, movie that they quickly did, which wasn't bad, but the Japanese version was a lot better. Uh, so you definitely want to get the Japanese version, not the English dubbed version. And you also get the Joker. The Joker is like generic. Fantastic. But you know what that kind of reminds me of? Like, he looks like he's in a robe. Like he was... Uh... Just you woke him up from the shower or something. Like he came out and he's he's missing the Hugh Hefner pipe, you know? Right. What's up? So put a cigar in his mouth or something. Right. A rocket or something, you know what I'm just saying? Yeah, seriously. Put a, like yeah, put a put a rocket launcher. Yeah. Give him a bazooka or something. Make him look like Poe or like everything else. Who would someone say, yeah, he looks like Mr. Miyagi? I guess. Uh, we also have the new uh, Disney uh, Raya and the Last Dragon figures as well, too. This is the new animated movie that yes. they are going to be coming out with. I'm surprised they've released this line this early. That uh, not out till, uh, isn't it due out April it was, or May? It's supposed to, it was supposed to be out November. Yeah, These okay. Be out November. November. Okay. So, because uh, we haven't gotten the action figure yet. Normally, what happens, we get the action figures first, we get the pops later. Mm -hmm. Pops are still on their line because they come straight from Japan. They don't have to listen to any single person uh, because we've seen it with Mandalorian. The only time Mandalorian is getting held back, this is Disney. They're pushing yeah. them. Mm -hmm. They're they're bringing them out so that you're buying the toys. You're going to the Disney shelves. You're going to the Disney store. You're ordering uh, Raya and the Last Dragon. So this is uh, Namari. This is one of the characters from the movie. We also have uh, No or Noe. I like, I like her character. She looks cute. <laughs> she reminds me of someone, but I'm not, hopefully she's not watching. But she reminds me of someone who actually is of that stature. We'll say, but she looks like a little kid. <laughs> it's just her head so damn huge. Yeah, right. you ever see you ever see the movie uh, So I Married an Axe Murderer, where the father's talking yes. to the kid? Hey, get your head out of the way. It's got its own orbit. Right? Is, That's what it looks like. <laughs> like a Powerpuff Girl. I mean, if you look at all these Funko Pops, they're legitly based on Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. Well, the last one they showed that uh, Namari, it kind of like uh, someone said it looked like Michonne from Walking Dead. I was kind of thinking in a way almost kind of like uh, think of Jasmine from uh, Aladdin, but like she's had enough and like she's going off. Or think of something like uh, Treasure Planet. Um, one of those type of uh, you know, movies. It may look that way, but the second we watch the movie, it's a completely different character. Oh, yeah. so, um, so we also have um, 
Ongi looked like three little monkeys. Like, look, we got the three little monkeys. Yeah. So you know, cute. The, uh, don't ask, don't tell. Like, like you know, can't. What, what was it? Like, <laughs> don't ask, don't the tell. New ver- don't, don't speak. Yeah. Right. We'll so get the new version of like someone's very happy, and we got grumpy pants in the middle. Yeah. Right. This, I feel like these are going to be like comical relief in the movie. I'm looking forward to this movie. The trailer looked cool, so. Okay, they look cool. We also have Ray herself, which is Warrior Ray. I like the sword that she has, though. Right? I feel like these are going to be some cool action figures when they do come out for it. And last but not least, we have Generic Ray. I think we have Generic Ray. Is this... Oh, uh, no, we, got, we got two more. Big Trouble in Little China? What? Looks like it actually. Big Trouble. <laughs> the, the, you know, watch. We're gonna watch the movie. It is the girl version of Big Trouble, Little China. Watch, yeah. Uh, we also have the dragon, Sas, uh, Sas, uh, Sisu, Sisu. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This kind of looks like a thing in nightmares in a way. <laughs> so it's like a, this... My Little Pony on crack. That's a unicorn. What are you talking about? Like... This is the dragon from Mulan. This is the new version of the dragon. No, you got the no, unicorn. Un, uh, the unicorn. Oh, it's a unicorn. Yeah, you know, that's there's no doubt about that, <laughs> right? I'm with you, Steve. Stefan. I'm with you, man. It's like a what the f moment here. This one we have tuk tuk. Oh, tuk tuk, tuk tuk, tuk tuk, <laughs> tuk tuk. Gonna go tuk tuk. Oh, it looks like a it looks like a hedgehog with armor, and he's just yeah, it's like just a ball. Armor, it's just a ball, like, like an armor. Ball. Ball. Yeah, right. There you go. They ain't got tuk tuk. Oh, that looks adorable. Tuk tuk. Uh, for all you for all you chase figures out there who have to go to nearby FYE, we also got some Dragon Ball Z for you guys. The Goku exclusive from PX uh, uh, Preserves. We know that FYE carries these very well. So if you don't buy them online, go find them at your latest FYE. FYE. Why is that F- local? F, uh, FYE and your local comic stores are going to have the PX previews. The reason being is the PX previews are made for the little guys. So they can compete with some of your stores like a GameStop, a Newberry Comic, Walmart, Target, where they get more exclusives. This is their version of an exclusive, a PX preview. GameStops will get them uh, after, like, if it's like a year or two and they didn't sell well at the little stores, then they'll get sold at a GameStop. Mm hmm. While you guys are hunting, you can also get the black, uh, you know, it glows in the dark. You know, this little exclusive glows in the dark because we like stuff that glows in the dark. Uh, I, I already know somebody is going to be wanting this all day. Josh. Jabo, you Matt know, Mc- this is all Josh. Josh is going to want that all day. And there we go. The glow in the dark, the glow in the dark version is your chase exclusives. Happy hunting. They're both exclusives, but one is more difficult than the other. So happy hunting at your local comic book stores, toy stores, and your local FYE and other retailers. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. We also got some cute moments. We got Pokemon. These are re-releases. The second releases. Some of these are free releases. Some of them are new releases. So we have uh, Mew returning to you guys. Mew. Baby Mew. Baby Mew. Um. So we got Mew coming out. We also have uh, the new version of the Silver Pikachu. This reminds me straight out of Smash Brothers. Yes. Yes. So, and I think this is based for Smash Brothers uh, because it does say uh, Funko Games, but but the way things are set up, it reminds me of Smash Brothers. It probably is from that. Yeah. They just didn't label it right. And the fact that... Um, what the heck is it? The box art, if you look at it, it as a mini Pikachu thing, means that yeah. this is probably a little their version of an of an exclusive. Yeah, I would probably say I would think that too. Yeah, that maybe it's their version of a chase or something. Now, I could be, you know, I could be wrong, <laughs> but I guess we'll see. If they release a gold version, that we know something's up because now we know it's straight out of Smash Brothers. Yeah, uh, we also have the pony, uh, ponita. <laughs> <laughs> Panta, pan, Panyata. I've never. It's a pony. We're, ta- ju- we're just gonna say it's a My Little Pony on fire. No, but, but this is better than My Little Pony, right? This is cuter than My Little Pony. I will go to the next one anyway, because for your your Pokemon fans, we have the evolution of Pikachu. 
which Wait, is right you the second form yes pikachu has a second form this is right you why the this hell is right had his pikachu is the same what? Because cute Pikachu sells more than having a bigger rat running around. Like, could you think about it? He's cute and cuddly, like a little version. And if you had Raichu, Raichu's about half his size. No. This yes, Pikachu could have been a Pikachu. Could have been Pikachu. Could have grown up, and it could have so looked you know like what? this. Look, Ash, you're not letting Pikachu live his best life. You're not letting him evolve into a better Pikachu, a better Pokemon. You're stubborn. You're selfish. Not digging you, man. Not digging you. <laughs> I've lost hash now. <laughs> the show's <laughs> the show's done. The show's done. Good night, everyone. No, 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 no. We're not done. Yet. We're not done yet. No, no. Yeah, but he's so right, though. Fun, it's not right for fifteen. For fifteen. Oh my god, fifteen some years. For fifteen some years. You want you want genocide? You want genocide? Ash is purposely not letting Pikachu evolve. Mm. I don't see the you people reaching you. I'm, I'm you. reaching out for that one. I say reaching out or <laughs> reaching out for that one. Anyway, certain actually, I believe not too long ago there was a gold edition, a diamond edition of this one at, at Hot Topic. So um so yeah, right you is a is a hot item. And uh for me also, like, what the, I was like, whoa, this isn't a Pokemon. Oh, then I realized we're going right to the garbage pile of kids, and we have oh. Ali Gator. I did love these things when I was a kid, man. I want the cards. They're gonna release these. Release the cards with them, right? Do, all right. So, did you ever see the movie, the Garbage Pail Kids movie they made? The live action. Yes, they made a live action movie. You want to talk about a dumpster fire? Wow, that's the biggest dumpster fire in the world. Oh, so bad. Yeah, but it's like one of those things you have to watch once in your lifetime. You have to watch it. It's don't don't worry, it gets better. All right, you know why? Because there's more garbage. There's more garbage for you. We've got J uh, J D K J D K. I want the I which I'm surprised they don't have it. This is one of my uh, favorites. Leaky Leaky Lindsay. Lindsay. I'm sorry, this just does not seem right. Like this seems like this should be a really bad. I right, we're going to the next one because I, I, it was cool when it came out. Right now, as we bring it back up again, yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry, I, I wish I had. God, do we know anybody named Lindsay? We <laughs> no, let's not. I, I know, I know many Lindsays. So do you. <laughs> Split kit. Well, all right. This this one's. Uh... So it's like a My Hero Academia guy or something. Look no, at him. this was no. He was split between Sid Vicious and John and and him being normal. So he was normal. One day. he's almost like uh um uh um. Oh my god, because he had a split personality. Split, obviously. split personality. Yes, yeah. Jekyll and Hyde. Thank you, Jekyll and Hyde. He's very Jekyll and Hyde. Man, that's and here's funny. something. And here's an action figure I never saw coming. Even. Even probably you never saw it coming, and that's this. Bozo the Dude, Clown. I am so surprised they have not done Bozo the Clown, man. Why? Anybody that's on this feed, this is an icon from when we were a kid, man. Bozo the Clown is an icon from when we were a child. Like, you remember back in the day, clowns you remember growing up. Bozo the Clown was one of them, and then you had, like, Ronald McDonald. If you knew who those two clowns were, any person that's over the age of probably 30, 35, will know these two clowns from their kids. I'm surprised right. it hasn't been made beforehand. Bozo was too creepy, so I never watched the shows. And something about him just made it very eerie and weird. Mm. Now, as far as Ronald McDonald's was concerned, that was, I saw a happy clown. All right? So the fact that I saw a happy clown made me want to go to McDonald's. So Krusty <laughs> is also an iconic, yeah. Yes, I was going to say Krusty would be another one from that. Um, and, uh, the funny thing is, uh, there's a story that went around and it's actually circulated. It's actually true. Um, no, they Ronald, don't have McDonald, yeah. Ronald McDonald actually got pulled over one time driving and he was not able to give the police officer his real name and <laughs> he was not able to give it because it's in their contract. You're not supposed to know who is Ronald McDonald. Yes. So he ended up getting arrested. McDonald's had to come down and explain it, show him the contract, everything. And he ended up getting let go, um, mm -hmm. for it. And then after that, they had to have a chauffeur drive Ronald McDonald around after that. Crazy. Oh, yeah, because 
He was in the clown costume, right? You got pulled yep. over in a clown. Yep. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he should be pulled over. Yeah. I mean, hey, we we found you living leaving a kid's <laughs> kid's part. <laughs> <laughs> Someone yeah. called the cops. All right, uh, David, weird. Kevin, uh, there is they, no Funko coming out with Banana Split. I don't know when uh, they are. No, they do have Banana Split Funkos out. They do have. Do they? Yep. Yeah, Steve, uh, Comic Con. Steve has all four of them. Oh, never mind then. So they're out. They've been out. So happy hunting. They are out. Yes, they're old. They were sometime early 2020, late 2019, early 2020 for those. Yeah, clowns are weird. I'm with Steph. Uh, yeah, no thanks. Yeah, but for some people, especially Attack of the Killer Clowns, if you need yeah. a if update one, you could just take the Bobo character. You could just take Bobo and just make your own version of Attack of the Killer Clowns. Yeah. It, there's a rumor that they are doing a Attack of the Killer Clown uh, TV series that's going to be on Netflix. Mm -hmm. There's a rumor of that. Yep. It's going to, yeah, it's supposed to be one season and that's it. Yep. Uh, but if All that right. does well, that spawns a movie. That will spawn a part two movie watch. All right. So the next set of figures is something I didn't show you. Oh, these are normally. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And you've been playing. Huh? <laughs> I said, I'm ready for the suspense. You are. Because you're a fan of this, but you're not a big fan of it. But every time I see you online, this is the only game you play. Okay. So this is now the Miles Morales Funko Pops based off the video game. I know there's like nine of these suckers. And uh, I'm, so bad. I'm gonna get through some of them. I don't have I think I have one of the chases, but I don't have there's another exclusive out and I don't and I don't have it. Um, this so this is the regular 80s a suit uh, Spider-Man. A lot of them are spin-offs from the previous suit, so a lot of them are updated. So a lot of you fans out there that haven't played the game are probably going to be pissed off about certain looks, especially with this one, which looks like the stealth suit the Spider-Man has, mm -hmm. the OG Spider-Man has. We're going to go through them. Don't get mad. Just blame it on Sony and Marvel. Just don't blame it on us. Right? <laughs> I like Steph and clowns and zombies are the reason why I have weapons. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't true. This is the reason why I have weapons too. Yeah. I, I have my weapons still in the car. I didn't take them out. Right. Uh, uh, Bergie GameStop has two versions of the morphing suits. Ooh, good to know. Good to know. So now we know. So let's start with the first one. The first one is the 80s, the Miles Morales 80s suit. The next suit that we have coming on and everything. Um, well, there you go. The gamer version, which is off the Miles Morales video game. Mm -hmm. Your favorite. We also have 2020 suits. Yes. I kind of dig this. This looks cool. I like this. The 2020 right. suit. I like the pop. That looks awesome. All right. Happy hunting. Happy hunting. Right. We also have... The regular Spider Man suit. You know, funny, me, uh, he almost looks like he's doing the Degeneration X, like, ah. Oh. Right? DX. Suck it. Right. Kevin's Audi. Good night, guys. Good night, Kevin. Good night, man. Oh, yeah. I like that one. Yeah. It's definitely Daft Punk. Definitely Daft Punk. Yes, I agree. Uh, This one, I like the fact that it comes with a standee. Anything that comes with a stand, the extra attachment to it is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, him doing the little suck it chant. He's got his hand on his crotch. I'm surprised they let this go. I mean, you know, when you're flying, you got to cover, you know. That's true. This is the, the uh, generic uh, Spider Man. This looks like he's about to do the Venom Punch in the way, right? In the Venom Dash or something in the game. The electric punch that he has? Yep. Tiger uppercut. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Tiger. Right. Still, maskless oh, is nice. the chase. Okay, okay. You're digging it more, and you're like, okay, which one do you, would you? Which one would you take? Would you take the chase? Or would you take this one? I think I would take this one more personally because I I dig the the look of it with the mask on. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, if someone got me this one, I wouldn't say no. I mean, if I found it, I'd grab it, you know. But chases right now are so hard to find in the wild. So hard to find lately. Yeah, I like this one. He's got the uh, I, the update of the of the stealth suit. 
It, yeah, but it looks like uh, the the octa, the, the superior Spider Man look. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I couldn't think of it. It's like the spirit superior Spider Man where he's got the 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 arms. Yeah, I, everyone agrees that they'll take they'll they'll take the one with the mask on for for you. The mask on looks so much better. Complete with butt plug stand. They're complete You're with butt. <laughs> You're horrible, dude. <laughs> so we also have this suit. Uh, they also have the newer version. See, they they have the purple suit, which is like the other version of the other stealth suit. The other stealth suits. I don't feel in this one so much. No. I didn't, I didn't know Grimace uh, was a Spider-Man. I'm just saying, you know. He'd be more roundy, pudgy at the bottom. <laughs> but obviously, he hasn't been uh, quarantined uh, this entire 2020. They See, now, have. this one I like. I actually play with this suit in the game. I love this suit. I run around in this suit all the time. See, I still need to get a physical copy of Spider-Man. I'm sorry. It's okay. I should have got. You know what? I should have got it at the at the Walmart when I saw it. Well, because the Walmart, the, that one Walmart, had one copy of the NBA game I wanted and the one copy of the Spider Man game that I wanted. Yep. I think I should because we're going to be in quarantine again at next month, so I should pick up many copies of games. This one I'm not a big fan of the striped suit and everything. This reminds me of some of the previous. This like, Ooh. look, I know Miles I Morales is like new. He just this looks, looks like a bad. Luch- this looks like a luchador. Like he's about to jump in a wrestling ring. Like the luchador mask and stuff like that. It and is fitting. Look, he is the Morales. What's up with the gauntlet arms there? And somewhat looks like a uh, hail hydra on his uh, chest plate there. Hey, you're playing the video game. Did you get these suits yet? I haven't gotten this suit yet. I've I've unlocked a few, but I haven't really been doing too much to unlock. I've just been running around this the city. Um, I'm the I'm the, I'm the I'm the fool that like if I can get all the suits as fast as I can, like I won't go to the next mission until I can get some of the suits. Yeah. Get some of the upgrades. I think I've got like ten suits unlocked right now. Nice. I would also say like Magma Man or something like that from the Peter Parker movie, the Spider Man movie. Not a fan I'm, of it. This is the strike I'm suit, not, and the strike I'm suit not, is uh I'm not digging it. I'm not digging it. We also have this one, his new his new suit. Yes. Which looks like the which looks like the first edition Spider Man suits. The yep. previous game Spider Man suits, just the new version. This almost look, reminds me of the negative suit from uh the first Spider Man movie, in a way. Why do I have a feeling that at the very end when he gets a new suit, you know, when Spider Man gets a new suit at the end of the video game, this is his new suit? Yeah. Doc Ock just made you a brand new suit. It's gonna be like this. This is what it'll look like. Oh, it looks like Spider Man. It looks like the previous Spider Man video game suit. Mm. Copycat. We also have the winter edition suit. I did love this one when you got this uh, outfit in the game. When you uh, helped out a uh, person, you got this. She gave you. She knitted uh, a scarf and ear muffs for you. <laughs> I ran around in this suit for the long. And it was one I was in one of the missions. I had to beat up the rocks on guy. I'm running around with a scarf and a hat, and I was like, "This is so hilarious!" I'm beating these guys up while wearing this yuppie scarf. I'm like, "This is great. I love it." Uh, we also see the new editions of the Marvel Zombies. We got Gambit. We got uh, we got Modok, your favorite. Now, Modoc, this is a small one, right? I think it's only the... the yeah, these like, are supposed to be small ones. They're not supposed to be the 10-inch figures that we saw at the stores. But honestly, Modoc should have been the 10-inch one. You it's know, true. This would have made better sense to make this a 10-inch uh, you know, pop figure, but they didn't. Making right? big boys. Red Hulk. With his uh, green gamma blood everywhere. Not a fan of it, though. I, some yeah. of these zombies, I think I'm over the zombie thing lately on the action figures. Um, I think I'm over it. Zombie Thor. Zombie Thor, I can see. Again, zombie Thor? No? Kind of. I'm kind of over the zombie thing on these figures. I have a couple because I bought, I think, like the Spider-Man one and I bought like the Hulk one. But it's not like a, I'm going to run out and buy these. But Bergy, you can pre-order all these at a GameStop. This is true. 
I will pass. <laughs> it's just yeah, I'm with this person. It's just over. It's over. It was over when Walking Dead was over. It's over Johnny, it's over. Over. Uh, we also have a cool one more thing. We also have a kind of like a collector's box kind of thing. Like uh, this, apparently they came out with a mystery box not too long ago. PX is a PX exclusive. It's a mystery box. You either get one of three. Uh, you get a Loki, the the generic Loki with um, uh, with the hammer, but you are hunting for a different shirt to a different comic book in the mystery hunt. Pretty dope. It's really really cool. So I you really have the, the I have the comics. I mean, it doesn't matter whichever comic I get. The fact that I'm gonna chase for a mystery box. You know, you get three pieces, and this is and your choice is you either get one of these or one of these. So hopefully you get the right size. Yeah. I'm digging that first one where it looks like he's uh, the blue one on the left-hand side, closest to the pop figure. I like that T-shirt. That's actually really cool. What's interesting is it's got the free comic book date from last year. Oh, wow. So these were probably free comic book day, like exclusive things? I think, think the comic book was. I think the comic books were. Oh, okay. So the fact that now they put them into a purchase is going to be pretty cool. Huh. You never know. Or they were meant to be retailed during free comic book day. True. True. So That's and cool. if if I remember in stores, I didn't see this for free comic book day. I don't remember it. So I think this was leftover uh product for free comic book day. Cause I remember we have for the longest time we had free comic book, was it month or two months of free comic book week of uh, comic book? Did it six weekends in a row? I think it was August through September or something like that. They did six weekends in a row. So this could be leftover. This is definitely leftover merchandise from that time. Uh, so as I said before, it is a PX exclusive. So meaning your local retail, your remember this went to local comic book stores. So this is going to local comic book stores to possibly FYEs. So go get them. If they don't have them, ask for them. If you're a big Loki fan. A lot of you are Loki fans. Ask the stores for these. See if they have them, when they're going to have them. If they have PX editions, just go to the stores that carry the PX editions. Um, wasn't there a store? Um, what was the store you mentioned that that did the uh, free, not free comic book day? When you did the Rhode Island Comic Con, Funko, oh, Funko oh, Sodas? Toy Vault. Toy Vault. Toy Vault would definitely have it. Oh, yeah. So Toy go Vault, check yeah. out Toy Vault. We also have some Freddie Mercury action figures, some Freddie Mercury Funkos. Cannot go wrong with Freddie Mercury. That mustache, man. Impressive. You want that one? Look at that, Kelly Clarkson. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> the king is here. Ridiculous right now. <laughs> you are ridiculous. Uh yes, you love him. Dude, it's Freddie Mercury from Queen. Like, what's not to like about this guy? You know? This is actually true. The man is a what was a legend. Still is a legend. But yeah. Alright. So right before we continue on to the next subject. Now, everyone we've talked about re releases all the time, especially when it comes to Funkos. And Birchie has now seen this now firsthand that with certain toys they will get re-released or get released as a different version when i say this another toy was just re-released for a second time and ladies and gentlemen boys and girls children of all you hunters out there we have mandalorian flying with the baby yoda with grogu mm. Now this toy was released not too long ago and they are re-released they re-released it again. So originally they showed this with him without the without Grogu. The second edition shows him holding Grogu. I think one of them was mislabeled and I think this is a chase because they haven't labeled this. And okay. the box is labeled as a generic. And only the reason why I'm saying this was when you release two figures and they're doing the same exact thing. One of them is usually a chase figure. Yeah. So I think this one got mislabeled and I think it is a chase, but don't, don't, don't mark my words for it. Don't just go it. hunting for this. Yeah. Just don't quote me on it. Just go hunting for it. All right. 
Yeah, one glows in the dark. One of them always glows in the dark. Well, when you add the jetpack type action to it, I can definitely understand why it would go in the dark because then you have that fire look and stuff. But also, that'd be nice to have the silver on that, you know, Besker armor kind of have a nice shine to it, maybe a glow. Uh, imagine this in, in a diamond form. Mm. Just only do the helmet and his armor as the diamond, like certain pieces. Yep. And and this is the first armor. They didn't put the um, the best guard armor on him yep. all over the place. So hmm. this is definitely getting redone to have the best guard armor because it's missing so much. Like it's missing so much. Look at look at the miss. Someone messed up. Someone messed up. This is was that best guard. Yeah, it does have a little bit, you know, some uh, continuity issues here with this. So you heard it first, guys, because if this gets re-released and this comes a little more extra shinier, we told you so. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. We dropped the dime. This is not a shocker, right? So just by that comment, it's not a shocker. <laughs> J-Bo gets it all. Right, He's he a just gets it all. He's a collector. All right, so so the next set of figures we've talked about, like it's toys that should never be made, or I'm shocked they were made ever. And because we're talking about this, okay, if they can't make the British Bulldog Funko Pop, why the heck did they make this? And I didn't know that this is a this is a popular enough to get its own toy. And this is the reason why I'm saying this: it's the Eastbound and Down action figures. Uh, he's 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 got a. Uh, he's holding it. Yes, I know. He's holding a chicken. He's a holding. A <laughs> he's holding yeah. a C word. I'm gonna be nice. Oh, this is great. Holding I a C it. and it ends with a K. He's holding one in his hand. Yeah, yeah. Fire truck. Um, <laughs> I I don't get why this was made too. Especially the show's been off air for God knows how long. Right. Like many many years. Did someone like, lose a bet? I, right? Like, <laughs> did someone at Funko lose a bet and they had to do this? And no one's going to buy. And they went, hey, here we go. <laughs> right. Uh, it's just, why, why, why would this particular one be released and not certain other toys? There's so many better, there's so many better action figures that are out there or ideas. Release one of us and I bet you will do better. <laughs> Release one of us and I guarantee He'll be better than having. I I, I get it. I, I but I swear someone lost the bet. Cause why you get you get this version of Kenny, Kenny holding a, Kenny with corn rolls holding a chicken, and then you got mariachi Kenny. Oh my god! Why? And he's wearing the glasses too. Like what the f? If you want the most offensive toy right now, why? Like that's a, like I'm sorry. Wow. That's offensive. Someone, someone seriously lost a bet, right? Like they someone lost a bet. Yeah, man, this is the wish version of uh, Antonio Banderas from uh, that movie. Yeah, that's what? that's all the time I'm going to spend on them because, because I'm wow. so upset. Atro I'm so pissed off. Like the fact that Funko. All right, all right, here's what's okay. One I can understand that'll never be released, and it'll be a few years from now, and that is the zombie version of Black Panther. When Bergie and I were walking around and we saw the 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 ten inch or the twelve inch figures of Hulk to oh, Deadpool no. Green, um, the, in the back of it still shows Zombie Black Panther, and right. I can understand that figure not getting released. What in the right mind did Funko think about posting Eastbound and Down? I get it. It had four to five seasons. I get it. It's an HBO show. I couldn't stand the show. But you know, though, if you're going to do something like that, how about if you're going to do one of those uh, that shows? How about The Sopranos? HBO, right? You can do The Sopranos, Deadwood. Look, you know, uh, how about how about something article. first? I am not a fan of the show, but for all you kids out there, Seinfeld. All right, I'm not a fan of Seinfeld. I think Seinfeld is a, one of the worst shows ever created. Well, that's my opinion. I don't care what you guys think, but I think Seinfeld would have been a better job than this. Yeah, Seinfeld so, would have sold a hell of a lot more. And Se yeah, exactly. And Seinfeld would have sold a hell of a lot more. Granted, I'm not a big fan. 
of uh, Jerry Seinfeld and what he's had to say about killing or keeping or killing characters and the way he's uh, gone into Hugh Jackman's head to kind of like reserve Wolverine but not give it to us. But deep down inside, he's now a Fox guy. He's now under Disney and Disney can bring him back anytime he wants to. Yep. So Disney can just string him one more time. Be like, no, you're wearing the costume and this time you're coming back as Wolverine. So because of that, I'm never a big fan of Seinfeld. We'll do that. Oh, trust me. Hugh Jackman is fine with the money. He's got coffee shops. So if his movie career fails, he's got two coffee shops in New York City that are doing pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't know, and if you haven't, you guys can always purchase his cake cup with Laughing Man Cake Cups, which yeah. are sold at Targets and Walmarts everywhere. So that man's fine. Pretty good. I heard it's pretty good. It's in a cake cup. It tastes like Folgers crystals. Uh, I've heard it's good, though. I'm just saying. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, back to the toys that matter. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the the Good Omen. This is a good series. This is really good. I enjoyed this series. I'm shocked that after one season that they got Funkos. Uh, well, you look at the characters that they have. Um, you got David Tennant, and David Tennant's a very popular person, so I can understand him getting his own character. People are going to go crazy trying to find these pops um, because of the character. Yeah, because Tennant, Tennant, will, Tennant has no problem being at a Comic-Con. Nope. And due to the fact that you still have Doctor Who fans to yeah. the end of time is the reason why Tennant still has a paycheck from yes. you fans. Well, that and he was Barty Crouch Jr. on Harry Potter. So. Yeah. You know, Doctor Who, that, like, the man. He's also the voice of Scrooge McDuck in the yes. new DuckTales cartoon series. Like, this man will forever have a job, and he will be in history, like, legend. Legends. Legends of the fall. Legends of this. Legend. Uh, speaking of this one, I forget which character is this one. I think he, uh, and also the, the character, the actor who plays him. Out. Yeah, but the actor who plays him has also been in Underworld. You yes. forget he's the like he's the lichen in Underworld. So he's if you're a big Underworld fan, yeah, the head lichen. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Stefan. He plays uh, Scrooge McDuck in the new Ducktales cartoon series on uh, Disney, uh, Disney Tunes or Disney whatever it is. Yep, yeah. you know, I can listen to him read a book, <laughs> read the phone book. This character here for Azrafel, he's also uh, does the TV show. Oh my God, on Fox. Uh, Prodigal Son. Uh, he basically the dad, the killer. Really good show. If you guys haven't had a chance to watch it, I highly suggest it. Season one was amazing. Uh, so Azapel comes with the ice cream as well too. I think this was the chase one. I think. I think the chase is the ice cream. Yeah, this one. is the chase one. The chase is the ice cream. The other one is just him holding the book. So you could pick chase ice cream or no ice cream. I kind of like him holding a piece of ice, uh, holding ice cream. Kind of my he, he right in, in the TV show, I mean, he loved the treats. So I get it, you know. And also your favorite as well, too, which is David Tennant character, him holding the apple. Yep. Which also has the uh, the reptile eyes in the background. Ooh. I didn't notice that till right now. He's got the reptile yeah. eyes. Oh, yeah, you can see him right through it. That's awesome. Yeah. Crap. And we also have him holding a popsicle. <laughs> yes, him holding a popsicle. The popsicle one is the uh, is the chase. He goes Jack Ducktales. That was canceled. Was it canceled? The I because well, they're the gonna original, bring the original was only three seasons. Yeah. Ducktale oh, Disney only does this for their cartoon series. They only make three seasons of a show, and after three mm -hmm. seasons, they cancel. It. Yeah, they never let it go past three seasons, which sucks. And uh, last but not least, everyone's favorite, and this is a reason why chess pieces and chess for Christmas was the number one popular uh, thing to get for families, and that is the Queen's Gambit. I got to watch this show, movie on uh, Netflix. I heard it was really good. It, there's a reason why chess chess went up by like by eight hundred percent. Um. We have uh, Beth. I guess it was the finale pose that she had, or finale outfits. Uh, we have Beth uh, Harmon. Her holding it looks like to be the castle in her hand. 
if you're looking at chess, and we have her winning the chess tournament. We have Beth with the trophies. The first one she had in the white outfit, that kind of reminds me of something like that they would do for like one uh, Princess Diana or something. This looks like um, um, Kennedy's wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, something like that. Yeah, I can see that. The, uh, um, Jacqueline Kennedy, Onassis. Yep. Anyway, that's all the toys we have for this week in toy culture. Uh, out of all the toys that you guys have seen for the past several weeks leading up to this and everything, uh, let us know which one was one of your favorites, which one you're looking forward to, which one you're pre-ordering. j please don't answer. We know what you have. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to go Cause, on everything. <laughs> yeah, because you posted every time that you have this, you have this, you have this. But how about this? What's a toy you don't have and you're hunting for? That's a good question. All right. What's a toy you don't have and you wish you purchased? Right. You know, because you you sit there and you complain about the two hundred dollar um you complain about the two hundred dollar items, and yet it's always the two hundred dollar items is something that you always want. And he just answered it. He wants the dark saber. I don't blame him. Dark Saber is awesome. It looks really good. Um it's definitely a nice piece to anybody's edition, uh their collection. If you've collected all the different hilts. You got yeah. like a Vader, you've got, you know, Luke Skywalker, you add Kylo Ren, you add a, you know, Obi-Wan, stuff like that. Grabbing that one is another one that can be added to the lore. And mm -hmm. thank you guys for doing it, uh, Daylene and uh, Stefan. We definitely appreciate having you guys. Um, limited edition Burgie figure, I would love to have one of those. Um, so if anybody would like to make one of me, I will We're, gladly we're working do it. on one just because <laughs> it'll be it'll be this year's or next year's Rhode Island Comic Con exclusive, only held, only sold at the Evil Comics Inc. table. The chase, there will be a chase. Chase is to find Burgie to get it signed by him. <laughs> That's the chase. You gotta chase me down to get it chase signed. Is <laughs> the the chase is you get a free autograph, but you have to chase him to get it signed. Funny, I get it. Steve, Steve, I need a table for a half hour fly. I, I got some action figures. I get a sign. What? Yeah, we he made him. We made we some. Oh, he would definitely give me a table. <laughs> like, like he'll he'll run the table just for fun. <laughs> like I've never I, done I, this. I want I want Steve working my line. He has to work the line. I'm just saying. Ooh, uh, the I, Harry I, Potter. All right, to answer Stefan, Stefan says, I'm looking for the Harry Potter chess set. Was good if you haven't gotten it. Uh, chess set. I have the. Tra I have a Transformers chess set. I have. What do I, I have one for a chess set. I don't remember which one I've got. I got no. I think I have an old Star Wars one or something. I got like 20 years ago. It's in my storage unit somewhere. I'm going to have to go looking for it. Really cool. Uh, someone said Jackson has been playing. I uh, believe playing chess. Uh, make him a prodigy and uh, live off of him. Definitely. Yeah. Have you been to those chess tournaments? They're no joke. Mm -mm. They are no joke. There's a charge on the floor to give yourself a table. <laughs> what were you all right, all right, all right, all right. I already, I already have did, my security team. I got Stefan and uh, Greg. I'm right. good with my, my security team. If we did 25 figures, right? 25 Michael Burgey figures exclusive to Rhode Island Comic Con. Uh, uh, no box. It'll be. It'll have no box. First uh, edition will be a box. Second edition will have a box. <laughs> oh, it'll be. It'll be 25 toys. So it'll be 25 a toy anyway for you guys. So 25 toys will be 25 dollars each. You know, autographs are included. The funny. Ch you'll get a chase sticker, but you have to chase Burgey, and he will give you a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that would be so <laughs> could, oh my god. could you imagine you know how many how many celebrities will will ask you what the heck's with the stickers and they will ask for a sticker exclusively because of <laughs> i bet you i could get a couple of celebrities to go over and buy one too oh you know, geez you know i like this i like this one complete with <laughs> 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 you know what we should do like do something like that but honestly make it where is a donation of something to a uh, charity a worldwide okay. charity and stuff like that do some little charity make a charity for a uh, local um all right I'm all well for, if I'm all for anti-bullying charities i think they have the be one of the best charities around um if, that's just if adam salty is watched today i hope he's what he I, I hope he's watched us so we can throw some ideas Fully, would you like a Funko version or full fledged action figure? You know, super posable. If you guys say super posable, you guys are all sick and twisted. I'm just gonna start with that one. 
<laughs> I actually think a pop figure would be, I think, pop the figure. Part. Yeah, pop would be more would be ideal. Cool. Yeah, because they're probably a little more cost effective, and you can get somebody like Adam who could paint it and design it or something, and then we can sell them and do a charity and raise money <sighs> for charity. He can make he can make zombie he can make five zombie versions. The 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 chase will be the zombie versions, oh. and we'll have them in hidden boxes. So you know we'll we won't know which chase you get. Now you do you do four you do four pops. The Thursday load in pop, where I look right. like I'm all excited. I have a cup of coffee. The Friday pop, where I'm a little bit like kind of tired, got a little bags in the eyes. Two cups of coffee. Saturday is the don't you dare talk to me. Uh, and it's a bottle of Jack Daniels. And then Sunday is the zombie Bergy as he's trying to get everyone the hell out of the building. <laughs> no, 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 no. We can't do that because that's way too many toys for people to go through because one is enough. But we can also make the four other additions as well, too. So, you know, luckily enough, we do have the people that make the the, <clears throat> the Funko custom boxes. So we get the fu f custom Funko boxes. We get some of the toy makers to make a nice little yep. 3D version. Maybe one will have a clay version, oh, and it'll cool. just be based off one. It'll just be based off one action figure. Yeah, and the label will just be this week in toy culture. I don't know which shirt I'll be wearing, but we all know Burgie will either, and we'll figure out which version will have the Rohan and Comic Con shirt on. Daylene Bergie never came to another dinner party again after he saw the centerpiece. Yeah, I, I'd be a little traumatized knowing you and you and Stefan. <laughs> It'll be blue. It'll be a blue. <laughs> what is he doing to that Smurf? Um, we don't know. <laughs> it's a blue piece that right? sits in the middle of the room, and the tip rotates. On. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, uh, we go off the rails this show. Uh, it's been fun. It's been what fun. you're talking about. All right. Uh, my name is Hash. That's Michael Burgi. Thank you all for watching us tonight. Uh, we'll be back next week on Tuesday. Uh, you can catch me tomorrow with Sammy for her show. Uh, you can catch both of us for this weekend pop culture on Sunday. Eight o'clock. Uh, Tune in. Uh, Hashtag dad bod boba or or dad bod um Bergy works too. <laughs> uh, dad bod Bergy works too. Hashtag us. Uh, follow our Instagrams. Follow our pages. Follow us any which way you can, and uh, you'll see a couple of new posts. Um, and whatnot. Just stay connected and like, love us any which way you can via Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all next weekend. Um, Peace I'm, out, I'm, I'm, I'm peeking. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.